Okay, wait. I think we're good, right? Yeah, I think we're good. Hi. Hello. Test, test, test. Hey yo, hey yo. Yo, so bad, yo. Okay, wait. I think we're good. I think I'm good. All right. Okay. So today. We're gonna be playing some good old Terraria. Hopefully it's gonna be fun. Hopefully it's gonna be amazing. Uh, I have a couple mods. I'm gonna show you guys the list right now, actually, before we begin creating our character. So, uh, the main mod that I will be using for this mod pack is called the Calamity Mod. If you, to those uninitiated or have no idea, uh, to those that have no idea how or what Calamity is, it is essentially a RPG type mod pack, or mod, it's really huge, there's like over hundreds of hours of gameplay on it, and it's freaking amazing. So um, other than that, we have some quality of life stuff, like a boss checklist book, that I'll be able to, you know, see which bosses I've killed, because there's a lot of bosses thanks to Calamity. Recipe browser to check which recipes are for what item, or if I can use that item for anything else. Uh, Calamity Mod Music, for the music for the Calamity Mod. Magic Storage, there's also some Utility Mods, Dependencies as well, because I need those. Uh, Alchemist NPC, an NPC that will move in eventually that will let me buy potions. It's a really necessary NPC because of the, uh, the large amount of stuff in this mod pack, so it's really good. Or Excavator for vein mining, because uh, sometimes I just don't want to spend like 10 hours trying to freaking mine one whole vein, so I'm just gonna use Vein Miner to take care of that. Calamity's Vanities to have some really nice accessories. Fargo Souls X Calamity uh, is a mod that will bridge Fargo Souls mod and Mutant's mod to Calamity. And this is a really essential mod for me, because uh, it will I will also ramp up difficulty thanks to this mod. So yeah, we'll have two difficulty camps. Plus the vanilla one, so we'll we'll be we'll be like it'll it'll be a challenging mod pack, let's just say. Um, Stars above, an anime mod that will basically let me get access to weapons that are really 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 strong. So hopefully I get to uh, use these. Uh, loot beams for you know if I see a rare item I'll be able to spot it. Uh, vanilla calamity mod music for you know really nice music for the vanilla bosses. I'm gonna display to, you know, display my weapon when I'm holding it. Better boss health bar for health bars, lights and shadows for shaders, uh, town NPC checklist so I can make sure that I have every single NPC up to date and in my house, because that's how Terraria works. Terraria overhaul to have a more difficult time. I don't know why I'm doing this. Wing slot, because accessory slots are very low and I want one specifically for wings, so I don't have so I can use the rest for stats. Luminance is for... Actually, I forgot what this is for, but I'm supposed to use this for something. Oh no, this is Dependency. Calamity Overhaul. I'm actually going to go over this in a sec. So essentially, there's an endgame weapon from Calamity, which is a katana from Metal Gear Rising. And you can't use it until endgame. However, with Overhaul, it lets me get, uh, get access to it the moment I get into the chest. Reason being is because I'll actually be able to upgrade this katana as I progress, like as I kill more bosses, I'll be able to upgrade this katana and level it up. So we're, that's gonna be our, like our first objective when we get into the world, is to use the overhaul mod to grab the Borisama and try to progress with it. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. High FPS support because I hate 60 FPS. I want something higher. Uh, Acreus shop uh, quotes. This is just for tree fix. Uh, Remnants mod to change up the structures on the ground. This is also like these are also the. Uh, uh, dependencies. Inferno mode generates new structures and also the difficulty known as Inferno mode. I don't know if I'm gonna actually use it because I did say death mode, but we'll see, we'll see. Fargo Souls DLC is to also help with Calamity compatibility, which is probably why I'm not gonna use Inferno mode. I'm just I'm just gonna have this enabled for the sake of the uh, uh, difficulty. No, not the difficulty, the uh, structures, because they look really sick. I saw a couple screenshots. Melee effects. We'll see. These look really sick. No pylon restrictions lets me have like fast travel, which is good, and better blending to just make the textures look great. So other than that, uh, that's like a low amount of mods, and uh, we will get started. So first things first, let's go create a character. So 
I'm gonna do classic, because I don't want to do hardcore, because I'm definitely gonna die, and I don't want to drop my items, so not me, of course. So let's do classic, or I only drop money on them. And, you know, I just get to customize my character. Let's make him look edgy, maybe. I don't know, give him a ponytail or something with that, uh, that trench coat, right? Ooh, wait, hold on. Wait, let's actually get myself, like, a shorter ponytail. That kind of works. Wait, no. I mean... Nah, this works. Yeah, this works. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's make this really orange. Let's make it, like, a bit more red. Just, just a little bit. Yep, there we go. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go through, like, the character customizer a little bit. Uh, the character customizer in Terraria compared to Minecraft is, like, really bare bones. Because obviously in Minecraft, you can just like do complete pixel art over your whole skin. But I still like Minecraft's. Uh, I still like to raise uh, character customizer. I got used to it. Uh, let's see. Black shirt? Right? Okay. Okay. Actually, hold on. That's not it. I mean, honestly, I'll just keep it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Soma Psycho. Okay, so for the world, um, I'm gonna do master mode because I am so freaking. I don't know why. Um, Lamau death. Yeah, let's just, let's just make it like that. And then the seed will be completely randomized. And let's do large. Completely incarnate for master mode. Uh, random and begin. Okay, so we got Crimson as the world evil. That's good because I'm going to play melee this run. And I want those vampire knights. I just wanted to give it just like a fair game of like... Of just, you know, letting the game... Uh, randomly generate the world evil rather than, you know, choosing it. I want to randomize it a little bit, right? So, yeah, we'll see. So if we get an error, I'm going to delete the box. Hopefully it works. <laughs> yeah, so honestly, this is going to be fun. I, I can already see it. I already know which mod to act. I already know which difficulty modifiers to, uh, to enable. So this is just going to be absolutely... It's gonna kill me. <laughs> it's gonna kill me a lot. And I I am ready for a challenge because I am I am a s I'm a Ronin. Yes, I am a Ronin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully hopefully things will Wow! My game actually crashed. Hold on a second. <laughs> There's no way! There's actually no way. I my game actually crashed. Wow, um, that's awkward. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hey, yo. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Hold on. Actually, hold on. I need to. I need to boot up normal Terraria first. I forgot to add something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat, give me a sec. I forgot to add something, but I have to go to vanilla Terraria, which is really weird. Like, I have to boot up normal Terraria to be able to do this. So let me just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just need to boot this up. I want to get a texture pack. Let me just, uh, hold on, give me a sec. Where is the... Ah, right, I have to search it up. Calamity resource pack. Yep, there it is. Okay, 
Okay, then I have to re-download... I have to relaunch the game to be able to use the Calamity resource pack. So the, so the Calamity mod has its own resource pack, which is really sick and really cool. So I just need to download that first from vanilla Terraria, and then I import it to my... I import it to my game, then Team Mod Loader is going to load up, and then I'll be able to use the resource pack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on, give me a sec. Uh, use, enable, back. Okay, back and back. Okay, and then after that, I go boot up Team Mod Loader. And hopefully, things go well, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna boot this up right now. Relaunch it! Let's see if I can boot up the world right now, and uh, hopefully we can absolutely fuck the shit up, you know? <laughs> the reason why- okay, so it might- I think I know which mod is breaking this mod pack right now. But at the same time, I don't know if I want to delete it because it's really essential and lets me dodge roll. It makes things a lot more interesting, basically, but uh, we'll try regenerating the world again. So let's try it again. Let's just do Crimson because I already chose it. Death Lamont. Alright, let's see. If it crashes again, I'm gonna go inspect the mod pack and see what happens. Alright, so. When I get down to the underworld, I'm gonna try to infiltrate that facility and I'm going to grab that Murasama and I'm going to fight my way out using that Murasama. And hopefully, I'll be able to. You know, upgrade it to. The what I need. Yes. I want to use the melee. I want to use that katana and be able to slay everything in my path because I am so good and nothing will kill me. Probably. Everything's going to kill me. I'm, I'm laughing my ass off right now. Please help. Send some help. Wait. There's no- Nah, hold on. I'm not gonna say anything. Wait, what? Wait, that actually worked? Nah, wait, hold on. Hold on, it's gonna crash right now, right? It's gonna crash right now. Like, I can feel it in my bones. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. These motherfuckers gonna crash it. And I got to go and go again now. Hey, what's up, Noah? How are you? Uh, hey, Sato. I am gonna be streaming roughly around this hour. So, uh, if you are, you know, if you if you are usually awake at this hour, then I will be streaming at this hour a lot more often. So, uh, hopefully I get to see you on my streams. And hi, Azur, Julie! Wow, I don't know what happened. I didn't see you guys' comments. Uh, but hey, guys. Uh, Julie, the Soma's real. Yay, I'm gonna stream at this hour from now on. I like this hour. Why is it taking so long to dispose of Silva's rom romains? Remains! Oh, there you go. Irradiating one of the oceans. Also, Azur, I am going to be streaming Terraria. Yeah, it's going to be my new solo modded series because uh, Dawncraft is kind of hard, but I will stream some of it. Wow, okay, cool. So, uh, before we begin, I just got to make sure all my mods are in here and actually active. Wow, nothing went wrong. I mean, I guess it was just a fluke that it just crashed that one time. So, uh, to everybody that just got here, I'm just going to give a little context. I'm playing on Master Mode. Plus death mode. Yeah! We're doing master plus death mode plus uh, eternity mode from the uh, from a different mod. So basically, to those that are, that are uninitiated with Terraria, I'm going to die! Yeah! Let's fucking go! But yeah, so we're gonna- we're just gonna get right into it. I- I don't know what I'm expecting, but uh...
Wait, why is my camera not following me? Why? Yeah, why is my camera not following me? Hold on. Uh... Video? Wait, let's see if I can search up the camera key binding. Oh, it's 2 p uh, 2 p.m. right now? Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, I'll be... I'll be streaming... I'll be streaming at this hour, so... Hopefully you get to stop by a lot more often. Alright, so chat. Um... Game plan. I'll be playing melee for this run because I'll be doing I'll be doing this solo, right? So I am gonna be doing this on my own, which means that I will have to Why is my Yeah, I'm actually wondering why my Good luck about playing, lol. I'm gonna do my best, but for some reason my camera is like off right now. Oh my god, it's a lumberjack! I don't know why my... Hold on a second. I don't know why my camera is like this. That's so weird. Terraria modded camera is not locked. Yeah, for some reason, like, my, um, hold on. Yeah, for some reason... This is so weird. For some reason, like, my camera's not, like... Yeah, yeah, my my camera's like so weird. Hold on. Okay, cool, nice. Okay, so first things first. Let's uh, let's turn on. Eternity Death. So Eternity Death is gonna be our, um, our... <laughs> freaking Uh... Thing here, but for some reason... Hold on a second. Let's right-click to open this. Overhaul the Bible? Okay, so that's, like, a really helpful tool. Whisper my dance in your ears. Okay, so we got some starter. Taboo the Spirit Flint? Oh wow, that's so cute! Okay! Yeah, this is so weird. Hold on. Uh, there's something- there's just something wrong with my camera. It's like... Yeah, there's something wrong with my camera. Hold on. Hold on, there's something wrong. Oh. Overhaul settings. Oh, it's overhaul! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mod config. Where is Terraria overhaul? 
trying to look for it. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. Um... Oh wait, I think I have to like... Yeah, hold on, give me a sec, guys. Just gonna... Welcome back, May! Uh, hold on a second, I'm just trying to... Improve melee slash visualization. Uh, let's see, fixed camera? No? What did I miss? I created the world, but like, um, I'm trying to I'm trying to work on something. Cause for some reason my For some reason my camera's not like Hold on. There's a setting in the menu I believe that lets do is the in-game settings by my guess would not have this so having to adjust the camera will follow as well in-game could cause technical issues. Oh yeah, just give me a sec. Uh Terraria overhaul fixed camera? Wait, no. Okay, no. Terraria modded camera not following player. <laughs> oh, God. I have... I... You ever gotta go grab a snack? Okay, got you. For some reason, my... Hold on. Maybe it's a different mod that's screwing this up. Hold on. Oh, no, it was the overhaul. Okay, cool. All right, okay, so... We have begun our journey. So, um... Before we, uh... Before we, uh... Start this, let's uh, go ahead and look at this, uh... Look at this, uh, dialogue box. <clears throat> in your palm sits a mysterious disc. Myriad reflections. This is the disc, by the way. I'm holding it in my hands. Myriad reflections glimmer across the starry surface. It seems to be petitioning your aid. Gaze deeper. Continue. Oh my god, look at these two cute anime girls. Oh, they're so cute. Wow. <laughs> Choose a starfarer to aid on your journey. Eridani, the umbral starfarer. A reserved tactician. She flourishes through deep complexity. Asphodine, the astral starfarer, bold and energetic. She focuses on flashy, powerful attacks. Uh, you know what? I like flashy, and I like powerful, and I also like the color blue, so let's go with Asphodine. Alright, let's go talk to her. Greetings, I am Asphodine, a starfarer, and in turn, that makes you my star bearer. I will lend you my strength so that we may defeat these threats to this world together, and if things go well, to solve bigger problems beyond. There's more in it for you, though. If you'd like, I could give you the description of what I can help you with. I recommend it. You know what? Let's do it. Okay, where to start? The spatial disk you use to form the contract can be used to access the Stellar Array, which provides abilities after defeating bosses. Nice, right? Yeah. The spatial disk can do a lot of other things. But for now, the Stellar Array is the most important. Remember to check it often. One last thing, I can turn energy from other worlds into direct power in the form of essences. Combining these with other materials should be enough to create powerful aspected weapons. Right, my power is yours. Let's show this world what we could do. Alright, Asphodine. Let's get started. So these are the passives you get from defeating certain bosses. And you get to choose, pick and choose. This is the stellar array pretty much. So, we will look at that later once we actually have something to use. So, first things first, we got a starter kit from this guy. Uh, this guy's handling eternity mode. We also have insta houses. We got insta bridges and stuff. It's really sick. We got like a whole starter set, pretty much. 
Um, and this is for Eternity Mode, because Eternity Mode is going to be really, really difficult. We're going to die a lot, so this is going to be tough. But first, let's go down. Wow, okay, so we start off with... Me almost drowning. Oh, shit. I almost drowned. Holy crap. Oh, crap. Okay, so let's just go ahead and try to get some loot here. Luckily, I'm so glad that there's a mineshaft around here, because uh, that would that would have been so bad. Thank you, Asphodine. Let's see. Ooh, a chest! Nice! Uh, let's see. Loot all? Okay, what do we got? Books? Okay, not bad. Alright. We could make this like an underground complex, you know? Like, I'll, I could probably make this my own. And we'll be able to just, you know, brush it up a little bit. Make it into something really nice and impressive. Alright, so... Ooh, a sawmill this early? Yeah, let me grab that. Give me that, baby! And a campfire, nice. And an extractinator? Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm on a roll, holy crap. Unless that's, you know, that's what's always here. But it would be nice if I could get some chests around here. Would be nice. I, am I... Did I just really die already? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, anyways. Uh, oh crap, it's turning night. We should probably make a house, you know? Let's probably let's probably make a house. Over Terraria overhaul just makes this so much better, in my opinion, with the uh, with the really cool added bonus of just like the trees being chopped down like that. Like it's so sick. I love it. Okay, let's make ourselves. Let's make an NPC. Let's make the NPC house right now, so we could just you know make sure that everybody is all situated, and I'll be able to. Cre I'll be able to use my magic storage immediately while I'm while I'm here. You know, so hopefully things go well for all of us. All right, so. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these trees. Holy crap, we are actually about to... Oh god, no, 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 please! It's about to be night and I haven't done anything yet! Oh gosh, I was too busy trying to... work on my keybinds that I, like... lost track of time. That's not good. Alright, let's see. Try to get some stone. Ah, there's some stone. Perfect. Okay. Just grab as much stone as possible. Just so we can get some really decent loot. Or at least, like, you know, like a decent foundation to our house. Because I think I think the mod comes with the furnace, no? I think it does. No, it doesn't. Nah, we, we, can, we, can, we can take care of that later. But for now, we need to make a foundation for the house. Because I don't want to have to take care of that later. Alright. Let's see. What do we got? Rope. Nice. Alright, let's head back up. Alright. Almost night. Oh crap, it's night. Wait. <laughs> oh, no, 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 hold on a second. Oh no, 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 please. Please, 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 wait, 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 wait. 
Oh crap. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, but. Okay, come on. Uh, stone bricks. Perfect. Nice. I'll work on the thickness of this thing later, but like. Uh, I just want to make a house, like, really quickly. Bro, get out of the way! I just realized, I wonder if I turned on fire spread. That would suck. I don't want to test it out, though. What was that? Wait, what? Guys, get in the house. Get, get get in the house, please. For the love of God, please, just get in the house. Oh God, wait. Oh no. I'm almost out of time. It's night. Oh dear God. I mean, I do have two Insta houses, but like at the same time, do I really want to use those? I mean, not a fan. Yeah, let's just uh, try to. Where's the hammer? Where's the hammer? Frick! 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 Okay, there you go. Alright, let's see. Let's fill in these walls. Okay, bunny. Thank you. All right, let's see. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We are set. We are. We are golden. We are absolutely golden. Uh, yeah. No, we're we're good. We're good. We don't we don't have enough for everybody. So honestly, hold on, hold on. Let me just let me just put this here. Uh, one. So this is the magic storage. It's a really neat tool which lets me like. Just store everything like that. It's really sick. I really love this mod. And it's it's been like something that like I have been like love I have I love using. It's such a neat mod. Okay, so shift click. Okay, cool. Uh silver axe. Okay, yeah, I'll trade that off. Pebble spear. All right, guys, we're gonna go to hell. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it sounds ridiculous. Okay, hear me out. So, okay, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. So, we're gonna go to hell. Cause hell is forever, whether you like it or not. Right? Cause hell is forever, whether you like it or not. Had their chance to be a better, now they boil in the pot. Cause the rules are black and white, there's no use in trying to fight it. They're burning for their lives until we kill them again. Alright, so... We're gonna go straight to the underworld so we can try to hopefully get the Murasama. But in order for me to get there, I'm going to... Wait, hold on a second. What does the Bible do? Oh! This is the first time I've seen this! Hold on a second! Monitor the melee-er. Oh, okay. Okay, so these are all of the... These are for reference only. And many partial changes do not appear on this list. Okay, cool. This Bible thing is really essential, I guess. Welcome back, Sato! I have made my house really scuffed. Uh, and uh, we're about to begin traversing to the underworld to try to get that weapon. So uh, we're going to go down right now, actually. So uh, hopefully I can make it to the underworld. I I have barely made it down. So this is going to be a long journey down. But uh, good luck. Don't die. Uh, I'm probably going to die. Look at that. I'm, also, I'm almost dying. 
Never mind. Okay, let's try to see if we could get some loot down here in this cave. So we could... Hopefully... Get something useful out of this, right? Oh, come on, please! Okay, cool. Axes, top tier. We're just gonna use that. We're gonna use the freaking axes for now. Get up. Get up. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. I mean, this is gonna be a harder journey than I thought, huh? This is gonna be a harder journey. Wait, Eternity Advisor? Hold on. What do you do? Boreal Wood Enchantment and Cactus Enchantment. Puff in a bottle. Skill issue. Hey, Mitch. How's it going? Squirrel Coat of Arms? Ah. Alright. But yeah, how are you doing, Mitch? Hope you're doing amazing. It's going. I'm playing some Terraria with uh, two massive difficulty... No, three massive difficulty modifiers because I am a crackhead like that. And uh, please save me from my suffering. Uh, even though I'm absolutely dying here. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of a dumbass for uh, even thinking I was going to be able to do something like this. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. What's in this chest? I mean... Okay, fine. Well, Oh, iron! Okay, nice. And then recall potions. Good. Or the worthy master mode with friends? Bro, my first time play- oh, No, this is not my first time playing to- Is that a- It's a sword and a stone! Wait! This isn't the real sword though. Hold on. Nah, this is just a- the eggs reject your... Excuse me? I am a deity. What do you mean you reject me? I'm gonna get you later. Oh crap, what's down there? Hold on. Ah! Wait, 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 hold on. Oh, okay, cool. Oh god! Ah! Yeah, no! Yamato! Okay. Oh. It's another bat, really? Okay, hold on a second. Let me just grab. Guess you don't take. Guess you do not take rejection kindly. Uh, you know what? You know what, Sato? <laughs> you know what? Okay, give me a sec. Let me just grab. Wait, hold on. Oh, I don't have any. Let's use this. Okay, cool. This is gonna be harder. This is gonna be hard trying to get the Murasama. Nice. There's so many slimes. How am I supposed to get to the freaking Murasama at this rate? <gasps> ah! Oh my god. Alright, let's get some armor. Hold on. I mean, I could just make an instant elevator, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that actually just occurred to me. I could just make that elevator that... Hold on. Let me go to my controls while I'm here. Uh, let's see. Or excavation. Tilda. Uh, Stellar Nova. Z, X, C, and... B? That little scream when you die. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. Wait, where is the... Hold on, where is adrenaline mode? Okay, B, and then rage mode is V. Wait, 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 let me just prioritize the keybinds for uh, Calamity. So B, and let's do B and V. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay. And then let's do dodge roll, left control. And then the, uh, hold on. Uh, and then smart curse is going to be left alt. Yeah, okay, cool. 
There you go. Okay, cool. So we have two dodge rolls, right? Per like certain time. It's it's good. It's like Dark Souls. It's like Dark Souls, basically. So we got a couple dodge rolls, and we also got stuff. Okay, cool. So first up, let's head back here, and let's try to make ourselves some. Let's make ourselves an anvil. That's our first zombie encounter. Crap. Okay. Uh. Uh. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, good. Nice. Uh, let's see. Range throw. Okay, throwing knife. Okay. So, you know what? Let's grab copper armor, honestly. I think we should have enough for copper armor, you know? Ah, oh, it's only 29. I'm trying to get the Murasama here. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just realized I didn't have recipe browser on. Uh, recipe browser. Where are you? Ah, there you go. So, toggle recipe browser. There you go. Okay, so, hell. Hellivator, where are you? Where's the hellivator? Instavator, is it insta? Instavator, there you go. 50 dynamite? Are you kidding me? What? Oh, man. Okay, yeah, we're not going to get that in a while. Insta bridge, insta house, yep. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's grab you, and you'll be my summon. So we're gonna have to actually head down there and try to. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go down there and try to survive as much as possible. So uh yeah. That's like our main objective right now. We need to get down there and grab the Murasama. The Murasama is my my best friend. It's gonna be a shitty weapon when we get it, so that's why we need to get it now. All right, let's go. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Let's head to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, iron! Wait, that's so good. That's huge. Wait. Hold on, I just realized I don't have my... I don't have my vein miner on. Or excavator? Come on, where are you? Please, uh, excavate Tilda. There you go! Like, that's better. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting back in the groove, guys. I'm getting back in the groove. Don't worry about it. Oh, crap. Okay, so hopefully... So that's a lot of money on that slime. Let's just try to mine as many ores as we can right now. Because we're going to need some armor to get down to hell. And again, like I told you guys, hell is forever, whether you like it or not. Had the chance to be him better. Something, 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 something. <laughs> oh, wait, that's a health crystal. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Wait, is that a mushroom house? Oh, I got killed by sand! What? No! <laughs> no! God damn it. Hey, Mr. Uh, person. Hi. Damn, you don't have anything good. Fuck you. Alright, let's go. We gotta get down there. Uh, Defense. Swiftness. Yep. Alright, let's go. Let's go, chat. What is that? Wait, what? Rabies shot? Cures Pharaoh Bite? Okay, cool. Hey guys, look, I got a rabies shot! <laughs> oh god, uh! Bitch, come on! Yeah!
What kind of monster have I created? Holy crap. Do 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 Alright, let's see. Nice! Alright. Grab this. Grab you. I'm about to die. Holy crap. That's a lot of copper. Hold on a second. That is an undead miner, and that's so much iron! Holy mother! Oh, that's a lot of iron! Oh, mama! Oh, mama! Mama! Yamado, yamado, yamado! Oi! Ksama! You do not kill me! I kill you! Bitch! Oh, you... Wait, no, no, please! Oh, wow, okay, wait, this... Wow, the shurikens actually deal more damage. Okay, nice. Alright, let's see. I know there's a lot of chests and, like, a bunch of other stuff here! Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. Yamero! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, wait. Uh... Oh my god! I almost freaking died! Alright, let's see. Uh, let's see what we got here. Hmm. Ah, right! Silver! Um... Uh, oh, a silver short sword? Uh, I don't know. Let's grab... Wait, let's see if we can get some... Iron stuff, you know? Maybe an iron sword? That would actually be essential. Ah, right, there you are. Okay, cool. Iron broadsword, finally my first sword in the series. And it looked great. Oh, look at that chat. Yep, with this mod, with the, uh. Yeah, okay, now, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Three, okay, yeah, let's get this. You. And you. Yeah, this is pod racing chat. This, this right here. This right here is pod racing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now we're talking. Th this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Gonna fuck shit up. Woo. Yeah. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go down ahead. We're gonna go down to the underworld and grab that Murasama so I could get so I could finally get a good weapon. The Murasama. There will be blood shed. The man in the mirror nods his head. The only one left. Right upon the dragon's back. Oh my god, I just missed a chest right here. Holy shit, how did I miss that chest? I love chests. Oh my god. Ooh. Give me that. I forgot you're good at singing. Really? I'm good at singing? Uh, I don't know about that. We'll see. Shing, shing, shing! I could do charge attacks? What? Oh, now we're talking, okay! Shing! Oh, man! I, I okay, yeah, 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 okay, this is nice. This is nice. I thought I was gonna rage quit for a moment there. Oh, crap. Oh, yes! Yeah, baby! Alright! Yeah, what's up, Cold? We're gonna be streaming at this hour now, so... Hope you enjoy!
Also, I'm gonna try to... I'm working on my game rotation. So you'll be seeing me stream different games compared to my usual. And hopefully they're games that everybody could relate to. So, I'm, so first things first, I'm starting off with Terraria. And then I'm also gonna do a PUBG. You know, because uh, anyone, everybody knows what PUBG is, right? Yeah, everybody knows what PUBG is. What is that? Wait, what? Wait, what is that? Wait, what? What is that? Hold on a second. Hey, chat, we should probably get over there. What's that glowy thing over there? Huh? What's- what is that thing? Huh? Whoa! What are these? These look like, uh, little crystals. Yeah, I, want some, I just want to play games that you guys can relate to now, you know? So, yeah. What is this thing? Hold on. A blessing? Eh? Eh? What just happened? Oh, this is a gem cave! Wait! I just realized! Oh my god, there's so many gems! Oh, these are... Okay, wait. Increase the mining speed. Oh my god! Yo! What is this? It's like I'm on it's like I'm on crack cocaine. Whoa! That's kinda cool. I mean not crack cocaine, I'm just saying like the, the mining speed is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I don't use drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Oh my god, it's a- it's a house! Hold on. This could be a really nice hideout over here. Wait, a magic mirror this early?! Holy crap, wait, that's actually big. Oh my god. Wait, I wonder if my recall- No! No! I thought I would- Oh man. I thought I set my respawn point at the uh, beds. What happened? Okay, well, I mean, it's fine though because- yeah, I mean, we're trying to go to the underworld anyways, so it's like, you know, it's fine. It's alright. But still- wait, actually, you know what? I should probably store some of the stuff that I got, right? Before I die and- I mean, it's not like I'm gonna lose them, but like... I, I'd probably have a full inventory space if I get down there, right? <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we need. Uh, iron, right? Oh crap, we have two gold coins. Well, let's just grab the insta houses and just like get it over with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna get the insta houses. We're just gonna make a really nice looking village here. Totally not deforesting anything. Like, this middle house is just gonna be my, like, workshop, pretty much. And I'm gonna expand it further on, but, like... Actually, you know what? I should just probably expand this. Right now. Like, I, I should probably do that right now, since I have a lot of time on my hands. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. Before I destroy anything, let's do that. Okay, cool. Okay, so, first things first. Let's go ahead and get lots of gray bricks. We're gonna turn every single brick into gray brick over here. Or, I mean, we're gonna turn every single stone to gray bricks. What am I saying? I'm such a dumbass. Okay, wait.
Okay, nice. And then we'll make like a little stairway here. Nice. And then I'm just gonna... Wait, hold on a second. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Okay, so it's the house number one. And it's the house number two. No, please, please get out of the way, please, sir. Sir, can you can you please get out of the way? I'm tr I'm trying to I'm trying to make a house here. Thank you. Nice. I'm gonna need some doors. <laughs> Hold on a second, chat. Uh, oh, I only needed one. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on a moment. Yo. Alright, let's see. Uh, nice. Okay, cool. We got... got this. And we got... This guy. Okay, cool. Honestly, yeah, I'm just gonna make these houses, like... Eh, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like boxing them in like this. So, let's just, uh... Kind of... I feel kind of bad, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I feel kind of bad doing this. So, let's just go ahead and give them some nice rooms to stay in. Oh, crap. Wait. That's not what I mean. Hold on. You guys could live in pairs. Actually, no, you know what? No, 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 no. Hold on. I have an idea. We're gonna commit mass deforestation and try to get ourselves a. Our, get our NPCs some really nice rooms. Yeah, we're gonna go kill all the trees, guys. Sorry, Mr. Beast. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kill all the trees. This forest is gonna be mine. Mr. Beast is gonna kill me at 3 a.m. You know, I probably could have bought the wood at the lumberjack. I mean, the rip trees. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna destroy all of them. I really love how they're like, how they go down like that though. It's pretty cool. All right, so uh, let's just go ahead and flatten this area out. Should probably use a mining potion for this. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna go wreck the whole environment, guys! It's a good old-fashioned... Manifest Destiny. Just gonna be... Manifesting my destiny. At least you're building homes. Yeah, exactly. Building homes for these unlucky, unfortunate individuals. Yeah, I'm giving them some homes, guys. Yeah! Deforestation! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Let's fucking go! Oh, I don't have any- I don't have enough. Okay, wait. We gotta go back down there. I might actually expand this whole area to be- Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Hey, buddy! Oh, wait. That did nothing. Wait. None of that did anything. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, 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 yo. Chill. Yo, chill. Okay, cool. I was about to say. We're not gonna kill any bosses yet until I get that damn Morisama. 
Because look at that. Look at that dinky. This land lacks civilization. I know. We we gotta we gotta get down there. We gotta we gotta build we gotta build our civilization. <laughs> Cut them trees down and build a McDonald's. Exactly, Pebble. Not Pebble. Cold. Yeah, you you get what I mean. All right, let's go. Okay, wait. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm living. Dooby dooby doo ba dooby dooby doo ba Soma. Soma the Psyka. So this is the bitch egg uh, sword or whatever. Won't let me pull it out of its stone. You know, I really keep forgetting about the dodge roll mechanic, chat. The amount of random sounds you make? Yeah, because my parents aren't home, so I can finally talk. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I think 3 p.m. is like the best time, so I don't find as I could finally like, you know, like stream without having to worry about my parents. All right, let's see. Oh crap! Hey, buddy, you can't reach me, huh? You can't reach me, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. The bitch ass sword. <laughs> Shut up, shoe. Look at this re. Ah, ah, oh god. Yeah, yeah. See, see. Look at that reworked sword. Oh crap. It's a slime. Oh wait. You can't hit me. <laughs> Fuck you. Man, I'm dead. I can finally scream to my heart's content. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Okay, this is where we last, like, got to. We're gonna see if we can get some more hard... Oh, wait, there is one right there. Cool. Also, how you doing, Shu? Hope you're doing great. I hope this hour is a lot better for you to moderate, by the way. Yeah, I, I hope this is a lot better of a... Oh my god! Okay, wait, you know what? I'm just gonna use all my potions right now. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Yeah, there you go. That is he cooked? Very. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! After I was boasting to my friends that you guys don't bully me. After you guys. After I praise you guys and like say, like, oh yeah, guys, my chat is like really cool. They're, they never bully me on like your chats. Ha ha ha. Yeah, you guys fucking bully me. What the hell? What's wrong with you guys? Oh crap. Wait, I just realized. Hold on a second. All of this is... <gasps> this is all silt! Oh my god, I can get my first money maker immediately! Okay, chat. This is- Nah, we ballin'. I don't- Nah, I, I, nah I'm, I'm dodging those- I'm, I'm not cooked, chat. I'm dodging those allegations. Because we just got silt. I'm not cooked anymore, chat. Look at that. Shing! Wait. Shing! Oh, crap, I missed. Shing! Yeah, I'm not cooked anymore, chat. Look at that. Look at that! <laughs> yeah! I feel great. Wait, is this what I think it is? 
Oh, hey, look, pressure plates. Nice. I'm not cooked yet. Okay, so I can't go down there. Let's uh, try to go money farm. Yes, exactly, because I have the extractinator. So it's this machine that will take in, uh, I think sand, no, not sand, but like, they take in certain blocks, like silt, and then they'll give you like gems in return. You just gotta like, you know, jam the stuff in there. So yeah, pretty much this, it's a money farm. All right, let's see. Wow! I'm able to just kill worms like this now. That's sick. Oh wait, Spelunker Potion. Perfect. Oh crap. Oh yeah, I have Thorns Potion. Oh, that's sick. I love that. Alright, let's go. gonna try to build a passage to the underworld chat because I really do want that fucking Murasama because I get to uh with this with one of the mods I get to finally use an early game without having to go to end game but it'll be like gradually getting upgraded over time so it's a really sick and cool thing to do to use so honestly I like it it's great uh and I'll finally be able to use a katana in Terraria that's not bullshit or utter trash <laughs> so yeah. Oh, silver. Nice. I want gold though because uh, gold. I if I recall, uh, with the with this melee uh, enhanced mod, I'll be able to. The size of the sword gets uh, is actually bigger. Wait, it's coming right here. <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> okay, let's see. Undead miner and a slime. Okay. Are we getting close yet? Oh my god, wait, is that another? It's another house. Hold on. There could be something good down there. Oh god! Ah! Ah! Get off me! Get off me! Okay. Oh. It's another gem cavern! Holy shit! I'm getting really lucky- Oh, come on, really? You're gonna ruin my luck like that? Okay, what's in here? Ooh, Band of Regeneration. Give me that. Ooh, dynamite. I'll need that. A better health potion? Perfect. Lemon! <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Mud? I don't need that. Hey, Skelly Boy! Let me go kill you right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> ah, I get it? Because I'm about to murder you. There you go. Cool. Oh, oh god! Uh, wait, I have a sword. Hold on. Let me cook. Bitch! Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god! Wait. I was trying to sort through my inventory, you piece of... Dog shit. Oh my god, it's another house! Another life crystal! Give me that. Wait. Yeah, there you go. <gasps> it's just- Oh my god, really? A mace? Already? Oh my god, this is- this is huge. This is huge. I feel like something's gonna go wrong later. <laughs> something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> I can already sense it. My luck is like through the roof right now. I'm just thinking like, yeah, no, something's gonna go wrong. Do you guys feel it too, chat? Do you guys feel it? Something's gonna go wrong, right? Yeah. No, I like the sword better. Oh, 
Oh, that's sick. Everything's going a bit too smooth right now. Like, I feel like something's gonna jump scare. I freaking knew it. Some, I, I was gonna, as I was saying, right? Something's gonna jump scare me, and it was the freaking falling landscape. Not even monsters. Oh, crap. Wait, what is that? Sharp bat bat? That deals 43 damage? Excuse me? <laughs> and I found the rail system. I found the underground rail system. What is going on? What is my luck, guys? Well, I just got my early game weapon. Cool. And I also found another life crystal. This is sick. Yeah, I'm not letting any NPCs move in right now. Holy crap, I can one-shot mobs now. This is so good. This is huge. We are so back. We are so back, chat. Yeah, who said I who said I was cooked? Who's the fraud that said I was cooked? Tell me right now. Who said it? You're gonna regret you gr you regret those words, don't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. I said it. Yeah, who said I was cooked? Which bitch said it in the chat? Come on. Explain yourself. Oh wait, I'm about to drown. Hold on. <laughs> I I'm dodging those fraud allegations, I swear. I swear on God. Me and my mama. Wait, that's the... Oh, the... The attack speed is dog shit. Hold on. I just need to get the Murasama. That's all I want. I just want the Murasama. I don't want anything else. And it's only gonna do 10 damage anyways. I just wanna get it. Wait, this is the... Oh crap, that's a big fall. Hold on a second, chat. <gasps> oh, wow, okay, cool. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Never mind. I'm so back. Never mind, I'm not back. I'm not back! Ah! Wait, I just... Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, what do we get? Oh, that's dog shit. Ew. Okay, let's go sell some of this- uh, some of these materials to the, uh, to the NPCs. So, first things first. Sell this. And I just lost two of my gold coins, damn. Come backable? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this, we got this. Don't worry. We're, we're still back. We're still back. Okay, so, uh, you know what? Okay, so it's time for us to actually start uh, building the houses. I thought it was gonna stay in the stay in the area a bit longer, but nah, I still died. I'm gonna need some better tool. Give me that shit. Yeah, there you go. This is nice. Okay, so as I was saying, right? So. Let's try to get a decent amount of gear first before we head back down there. Uh, that includes... Wait, what is that? Feller of Evergreens. 18 true melee damage. Honestly, it would be nice. Yeah, no, my Iron Broadsword's dog shit. Let's get that. Oh, that's a big axe. Wait. Yo. Yo, what is that? Oh my god, what? Yo, that's sick. Oh, Ancient Fossil. Increases mining speed by 10%. So I don't need to use a potion anymore. That's, okay, that's that's huge. Uh, let's see, Grey Brick. Alright, so. We're gonna try to make houses for everybody. So first things first is I'm gonna pave the roads. Because I am a good citizen and Samaritan to Super Terraria World. 64. 
in one mining trip, we managed to get a lot of stuff done. So, you know what? That was sick. Try not to die too much, Soma. I'll try not to. Good luck with your homework, Sato. Yeah, yeah, Cold's right. Good luck with your homework. Okay, let's see. Let's try to chop this down. Good. Needs to be handed in tomorrow? Oh god, good luck. You'll need it. Holy crap, okay. Alright, so! Uh, now that we got the- now we paved the roads, right? Uh, let's focus on the actual housing. So, first things first make like a massive NPC mansion for everybody. But in order for us to do that, we need to first grab a hammer because I do need to, <laughs> I need to grab a hammer. There is my hammer. There is my trusty hammer. Hammer! Yes, hammer! Alright. Let's see. Do, do, do. Do. Do, 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 do. 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 I'm gonna make this look as pretty as possible because why the fuck not? And... Oh wait, hold on. Perfect, nice. Okay, cool. Ha ha ha. Okay. That should be a nice height for a house. Or at least like the first floor of a house. Of course I'm gonna add like, um, stairway... Uh, stairways to come upstairs, though. Yeah, that's not gonna be forgotten. Make a workbench here, just in case. Or just to, you know, get everything all situated. And, uh, let's get some lighting. Just gonna try to mine out every single bit and piece of these walls. design master for real oh my god nah stop nah stop nah i'm not an interior decorator i'm just a soma all right now that i cleaned out this whole area now we put in the walls because what's a house without walls you know like like you're kind of homeless if you don't have walls in your home like, it's like an outline of a house, but like, it's not actually a house. You- you get what I mean, okay? You- you get what I mean. Uh, let's see.
Okay, cool. Nice. Then we just gotta patch up the walls a little bit. Perfect. And then we're gonna get like at least like three tables and chairs. Probably. Oh crap. I should probably put this in the house now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put you in here. Okay, cool. Now, uh, let's see. Boom, bam, bop, boom, pow. Okay, good. And then we're just gonna... Perfect. We're gonna keep these mushrooms for now. So we're gonna try to like, hold on, we're gonna try to get a ruler. <laughs> so... Forty-eight blocks. Hmm. Forty-eight divided by two. Hold on. Give me a sec. <laughs> forty-eight divided by two. Twenty-four. Uh, twenty-four. Okay, so how about forty-eight divided by four? Twelve? Twelve blocks? Four NPCs per... per floor. Six. Eight blocks. Ugh, damn. Yeah, that's not enough. Let's do... Yeah, let's do 12. Wait, which block is it? Hold on. Okay, so it's the block after. Okay, after the torch. Okay, cool. Nice. What? Wait, what? I thought I... I thought I measured it correctly. Eh? Oh, it's 49! Oh, shoot, wait. I'll just make it 50. I'll just make it 50 blocks. And then we'll have to start over. Yeah, I'm just gonna make it 50. Screw it, because if I... It's just gonna be uneven. And I'm gonna hate that. Like, with my life. There you go! Okay, so... Uh... 50, so that means we could have 10 block wide houses for 5 NPCs. I know my math. Uh, do I really want to make it this big though? Chat, what do you guys think? Cause like, hmm, 10, 10 blocks wide seems really small for an NPC house. So 50 divided by 2, 25, 3, 4, 6, 5. Uh, hold on. Yeah, we'll just make it- we'll just make it like that, yeah. Nah, screw it. Hold on. I do need space for the, uh... Hmm. 
Head PC luxury apartments? Yeah, exactly. How much is this? Hold on. How many blocks is this? 13? Okay. Let's put this here. Okay, cool. All right, I have an idea. All right, chat, let me cook. Watch this, watch this. So first things first, we're gonna put an NPC house here. And here. Right, okay, okay, let me cook, let me cook. Watch this, watch this. So we're gonna make this central area right here. I don't know about you, but my, well, my prisoners will definitely have their own pool and coffee corner. Oh, God. <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay, wait. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so the guide and the automaton finally moved in. That's good. So now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have the... I'm gonna make like a second floor. I don't wanna make him into stairs actually. I'm just gonna make him like this. looks more aesthetically pleasing. Nah, okay, no, nah, it, it just doesn't feel right. Hold on. Just make it like hold on. hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me try something. So what if I just like make it into like a spiral staircase, no? Alright, I, I wonder if like hmm. Cause I'm trying to think of like practicality but also like make it look good. So how do hold on, hold on, let me let me see. Let me go look up how a spiral staircase looks. Uh, hold on. Hmm. Let me just make sure this is even. Ten. Ten. Okay, wh wait, 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 hold on. Eleven. Okay, so let's make it just a bit. There you go. Nice. No, it doesn't look good. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna do the classic. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna spend so much time just trying to work with wooden platforms. I freaking hate this. Uh, hold on. Okay. Oh, wait, no, actually.
Lower class citizens will not be... <laughs> they will not have any luxury of like a slightly bigger home. <laughs> there you go. Looks better. Uh, housing's already occupied? Damn, hold on. Is it occupied now? <laughs> you know, this doesn't actually seem like half bad of an, of an idea. Hear me out, chat. Like... Like, look, I just made it compact, but also, like, not that bad of a... Not that bad of a look on the house. Yeah, it's not bad. I kind of like it, actually. There you go! Good as new! Okay, and then I just go ahead and add these... Perfect. Nice. Look at that. These look great. Okay, so the architect is next. But I just... Okay, so the architect is going to be next in line. So when it's day... Wait, hold on a second, guys. Okay, so, nice. We got what we need. Alright, so, let's just keep it going. How tall is this, uh, is this thing right here? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one more block up. And then we... Just go across, right? Like so. We're just gonna mimic this. Yeah, just like that. Wait, hold on a second. How? Mm. <sighs> hold on. Wait, hold on a second. Why is this slightly... Ah, uh, that explains a lot. Yeah, okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna have to break some of the houses here for a sec. Sorry, Mr. Architect. I'm gonna have to destroy your home for a minute here. I'm gonna go Bob the Builder this shit. Alright, let's see. Oh no, he's crying. He's crying me some... Some tears of, uh... Happiness! Yeah! Happiness! Yay! Yeah! Mm. Okay, hold on. Okay, hey, cool. Okay, and then slightly, like, I have to slightly adjust this to the right, or outward at least, like, just a little bit, you know? 
My man doesn't get paid enough for this. He gets paid? The architect gets paid? I don't pay him. Who pays him? Do you guys pay him? Because I sure as hell don't. gonna carefully craft this house very very carefully make sure that this house is very much a luxury home for uh, these dickweeds uh, anyways <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Architect. I will fix your lighting. Oh, crap. I'll fix your lighting in a sec. Hold on. Trying my best here. And... Nice! His payment is get gaining his right to live. That's true. That That is true. That, that, that right there is a universal law, and it is most definitely upheld by me. Alright. There you go. Boom! Looking great. Oh, wait. I just realized. Sorry, I have to destroy your house again, sir. Uh, I forgot something. This is the average NPC house. Hey, at least it's not like a wooden prison like a lot of the other ones. This one actually has some class to it. I'm gonna add some like statues and shit. It's gonna look great. But like, hey, I mean, look at this. It looks pretty nice. So you know what? I'd give it a Soma out of Soma, you know? abso freaking lootly. Look at that. Look at how cool this looks. And boom. It's a Soma and a half over Soma. Hold on. I'm just to pause everything here. Okay, good. So let's grab all of these potions. Wait, that's my silt. Hold on. That was going to be on my money farm. Uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get, get. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I don't need iron right now, do I? Because I already have everything I need. Yeah. Let's dump all this ore. Okay, cool. So. Here's the next part of my... Wait, where's the... Where's the architect? There you are, sir. Okay, so filler blocks. That's not what I want. What am I what am I doing? Uh building blocks. Nah, actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on. We're gonna actually go down to the uh Yeah yeah. So we are actually gonna go ahead and head down to the Extractinator, because I actually am dumb enough to realize that I actually should have just mined it and, like, brought it back to the surface. Imagine! That was already happening! I'm using this as, like, a flashlight. And also safety... Uh, self-defense tool. Get out of here. Okay, there you go. 
You see that? That's what I mean. This is why I love this money tool. Such a cool... Wait, no, I should have fucking... Ah, man! Oh, no, I just said it, too! <laughs> I just said it! Are you kidding me? I should have mined it! Ah, oh. Brother! Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> Alright, let's see. I will get that Murasama, I swear. To, I swear to everybody in the chat, I will get that Murasama. You'd be so bad at giving someone build advice. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You guys, you guys are just gonna have to bask in my excellence. Yeah. I know, my building is completely perfect. No one can tell me otherwise. Fuck you guys. <laughs> no, shut up. All of you guys suck. All y'all suck. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me just, uh... Oh, right, I have to go to my magic storage, grab... Where is it? There you go. Grab all of these, and some of these, and put on these, yeah! Okay, so... First up, boom. There you go. And just gotta hammer this down like so, and probably, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna do that. There you go. And... Boom. Bam. Bam. Boom. Bam. Bam. Boop. Come on. And boop. Bop. Okay. And then after that, I just grab walls and then we'll fill up more houses for more people. Okay. Look at this beautiful house, chat. Look at that basket in all its glory. We're gonna house all these NPCs in here. See, look at that. We already got a merchant that arrived. And the nurse is gonna arrive here too. Okay, so now that the merchants arrived, I can finally get that, uh, get that very thing I wanted from him, which was the piggy bank. I need this. We're gonna put it next to the guide. Yeah. Actually, no. Why, why would I do? Actually, hold on. Let me just move the merchant. Yeah, I'm just gonna put you over here at the corner. And then we're gonna put the piggy bank right here. Cool. Okay, so now the piggy bank, right? If you guys don't know, to those uninitiated, the piggy bank is essentially your ender chest. Uh, not, I mean, eh, not really your ender chest, but like, it's essentially a place where you can hold your, um, your really fancy, fancy schmancy, uh, 
money to make sure that you don't lose your money. So yeah, it's really essential. Let's go sell these. Yeah. I mean, you could just store the money in, like, a different safe, but, like, what's what's the point? In, where is the fun in that? You know? You can just put it in a piggy bank. It's a lot better for immersion, right? So, yeah. That's why I like pugging. That's why I, pugging. I, that's why I love putting my, um, my money in a piggy bank. Because it's just, you know, it's so convenient. Alright, let's go! Let's get started back into our mining adventure. Oh, wait, actually. Hold on. A merchant. And also, the cool thing is... Um, actually, no, this is the reason why. Sorry, my bad. I completely forgot about that feature. If you put all your money in the uh, piggy bank, whenever you're talking to NPCs and buying stuff from them, your money will be carried over over here to the savings. So, it's really sick. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's grab some glow sticks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just just glow sticks. And let's grab some rope. Where's the rope? Oh, wait, the rope's in my inventory. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go continue our journey to the underworld. So we can finally get the freaking sword. The Murasama. With so many things at hand, so many things to use, we'll finally be able to get that damn Morasama. Hopefully. Maybe. Akumikun! Akun! Hi! How's it going? Hello! Hello! Currently playing Terraria in a really difficult mod pack that I have created. I don't know why you made this. Please help me. Please help me in uh, ending my misery. I'm trying to go to the underworld so I could get the freaking Murasama from Metal Gear Rising. This is our first episode of this new modded series I made, and hopefully things go extremely well. So far, I've had some good luck in the mine shaft, so that's really good. But what I am looking for is gold ore. So far, I've been getting a lot of luck regarding fighting mobs and finding a really rare drop. I got the freaking 40 damage bat weapon, so it's really sick and cool. There you go. Holds one of my regulars, by the way, so feel free to say hi. Oh, you said hi. Nice. All right, let's see. Wow, this 40 damage freaking bat sword is actually so good. What the hell? I think I should be deep enough to be able to mine gold now, no? I think I'm in gold level. Hold on, let me see. Holy crap, that's a lot of ores. Wait. Uh, let's see. Wait, let's get the blessing first, so we can get some better mining speed. Hey, there you go. There you go. Oh my god! What? What is this thing? Hey, what are you? Hey, hey. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Ooh, another dungeon or a little oh. Never mind. I think I have been here before. Ah! What is that thing? Ugh! Okay. Oh my god, I'm just killing things with the sword. This is a lot of gems. I could get rich off of this. Holy crap. 
All right, let's try to mine. Let's try to mine as much of these as possible, just so we could have a good supply. You know, just in case. You know, we might need these for later. What the? Crawdad! What is that thing? Huh? I just lost my cash. I, I just lost my cash. Uh, let's try to be. Uh, the alchemist NPC hasn't moved in my house yet. What do we need for the prerequisites for that? So I can buy those uh, potions. Alchemist, alchemist, alchemist. Where are you? Alchemist NPC? No, I swear I have him in this pack. Should be a dude with a hat. Oh, wait. Defeat the Eye of Cthulhu. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have to defeat the first boss to be able to even use this. Okay. I will get to that sword. That Murasama will be mine! And I will scream, there will be bloodshed. Every single time I use that sword. There will be blood. Shed. The man in the mirror nods his head. The only one left right upon the dragon's back. We're getting close, though, to the underworld. Yeah, the underworld's right over here. Yeah, we're, we're getting pretty close. The thing is, I could just use the... Uh, I could just use the, uh, the really funny, not really exploit, but, like, from one of the mods, they'll, g they'll give you, like, an instant elevator. But, I don't know. The demolitionist hasn't moved in the house yet for some reason, so I'm just waiting. Okay, so we go down here, and we go down here. Then we go down here. Go down here. Go down here. Over here. Yep, okay. And then I go travel down here. Then I go down here. And then I go down here. And this is roughly where I died. No, wait, no. This is not roughly where I died. What am I saying? I'm such an idiot. Soma, you're so stupid. Go down here. This is the underground railroad system that I saw earlier. It's a snail! Wow, I should have captured it. I'm gonna call it Gary. Gary Coleman. Nope, that's there's no chest there. Eh, get away from me. Oh, this is close to where I died earlier. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, this is where I... met my end earlier. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on! Nice! Alright, so, what do we got? Eh? What the? Five defense? Two defense. Give me that. A light crystal! I need this! 
Eh. Eh. Okay, good. Oh no. Oh, dude. Wait, I'm so close to the underworld. Chat, look. I'm so close. How come the demolitionist hasn't moved in yet? Do we need to have a bomb in hand? No, I already do have one. Wait, how come he just hasn't- he just hasn't moved in yet? What is wrong with the demolitionist? And the die trader and the painter could move in. There's three houses! <laughs> There's three houses here! How come they haven't moved in yet? Eh? Platinum ore. Hold on a second. Let me just uh, grab that. It looks like a birthday cake. Wait, really? Hold on a second, chat. Um, a wooden boomerang is 20 damage. Sorry, flaming mace. Oh, there you go! The demolitionist has, has arrived! Okay, so now, with this in mind... First things first. Stop trying to get inside the nurse. First up, I'm just gonna... Nice. Okay, how many- how much dynamite do I need for an instavator? 50? Okay, so... 22 silver. I don't think I have enough. No, I have three gold coins. I could probably do it. I don't have enough. Hey, merchant. Can you buy some of my shit? Thank you. Okay, hold on. Ancient bone dust. Uh, eh, let's get this, let's get this, sold. I don't need these. One silver, really? I don't need this. I mean, just need to get more dynamite. I have 19 dynamite. Are you kidding me? We are so not, we are so cooked. We are so cooked. Wait, actually, hold on. I might have some things here that I could... Yeah, hold on, shot. I think I'm cooking. What if I sold every single ounce of my ores and bombs? Should I be- I mean, I could be- I, I could probably get enough, right? Let's see. How much is an iron bar? Compared to an iron- Wow, okay, so bars are definitely huge, so... I'm just sell these. Okay, and I'm just gonna refine every single ore into bars, and then I'm just going to... Sell them. Because I don't need- Yeah, no, I don't really need iron anymore, because I already have the armor. There's no durability in Terraria, so... I can just take all these scrap ores and just sell them for a price. Actually, no, there is another... There is an infinite money glitch, actually. Chat. Not really a money glitch, but, like, it's a really funny way to get some extra cash. I might actually be cooking. Hold on, give me a sec. Uh... Yes, I got 53! Nice! Okay, so... Up next is... Three fallen stars, 90... Stores? Three fallen stars, 99 torches, and I just need rope coil. So in order to get rope coil, I need to get ropes. And I'm gonna need 10... 
How much do I need for an Instavator? 10, okay. Okay, cool. So now I just need Fallen Star, so we're gonna wait for night, and then we're going to go down there and pretty much get everything. So, but before that, we're gonna do like a little funny infinite money glitch that I- that hopefully still works. <gasps> it does! And of course, I don't have enough things to be able to buy it. Okay, so... This glitch works like so. I grab silt, I buy a bunch of silt, and then I just sell them for like a bulk price- I just sell them for a lot. We're gonna take that back, actually. I mean... Nah. Nah. I'm gonna buy a bunch of silt. So we had two gold, right, chat? So, we're gonna see if this works. We're gonna go to the Extractinator down in the mineshaft, and we're gonna essentially use the Extractinator to extract as much silt as possible by just buying from the architect. We don't even need to go mine some ourselves. We can just buy it from the architect. All right, extractin- Hold on. All right, extractinator. Perfect. Ah, oh, it doesn't work. But hey, I mean, I get free gems, so I mean, that's good. Let's head back up. We have free gems and ores, so that's really... That's good. So, let's see. Boom, boom. Fifty-three sticks of dynamite. That's a grapefruit? Huh, weird. Alright, let's see. Okay, so, uh, up next is to just head- wait a minute, I just realized. Doesn't the starter pack have fallen stars in them? Nope, they don't. Yeah, they don't. All right, let's head down. Okay, chat. So, main objective for this uh, for this mining expedition: get to hell. Welcome home. I'm gonna make you wish that you'd stayed gone. Say hello to a new status quo. Everyone knows that there's a brand new dawn. Turn the TV on! Ah. Welcome to the show. Top of the hour, we're discussing a certain has-been who has been spotted cavorting around town after a seven-year absence. Did anybody miss him? Did anybody notice? More on tonight's program. So, the radio demon's back in town. Why is he hanging around? What does that mean for your family? Well, handily, I've got good news. He's a loser, a false, I don't mean to sound hostile, but the demon is a coward. You can take that as a golf. Pulling my viewers impossible. I'm visible. He's barely audible. Stop giving him the time of day. Don't listen to a word he'd say. I hope he had a nice vacay, but he should have stayed away. Now he, now we, while he hid in radio, we pivoted to video. Now his medium is getting bloody rare. Hell's been better since he split. Where's he been? Who gives a shit? Salutations, good to be back on the air. Oh, frick. Yes, I know it's been a while since someone with style treated hell to a broadcast. Sinners rejoice. What a dated voice. Instead of a cloud chasing, mediocre video podcast. Come on, it's Fox Insecure, pursuing alert. Letting between this fat and that is nothing working. Ignore his chirping. Every day's got a new format. Do you memorize every single lyric from Hasbro Hotel? No. Stayed Gone is just something, is just a song I like. What the hell? Just threw a bone at me and I just died. I just, like, wow, okay, cool. 
bonus. I don't have enough to. Oh, damn. Look at all the pieces of rotten. Not really rotten, but like, look at all the pieces of flesh on the ground. It's not really good, is it? Oh, wait. Hold on. There you go. Okay. Cool. Nice. All right. Let's get down there. My name is Alistair, and I'm here to end your fucking life. Alistair! Pleasure to be meeting you! The first man! What? First man next to die! You know, I didn't realize that I had a double jump, like, thing on me this whole time. That could have been so useful. There's so many things. Look at that. That puff, like, the ching, ching. Holy crap though, this, um... I really like this, um, this bat. Because it heals the user on hit, so I'm able to just, like, live for no reason, basically. Yeah, look at that. I keep healing whenever I whenever I uh, hit a mob. Okay, nice. We're just gonna go into an alternate route because uh, that part over there was really dangerous. Oh, would you look at that? Another gemstone cave. Cool. I swear, I'm gonna run into these more. Would be nice to get silver armor, though. Oh, wait, I think I already do have it. No, it's just iron. Makes sense. Alright, let's see. Blessing! Blessing! Oh crap. Wait, was that a... That was a diamond crawler. Holy crap. Okay. So we made it back. I'm broke. Damn. Oh wait, it's night! Hold on. I could probably... Is it night yet, though? That's the big question. Hell's been better since he split. Where has he been? Who gives a shit? Salutations! Good to be back on the air! Yes, I know it's been a while since someone's style and treated hell to a broadcast. Sinners rejoice! What a dated voice. Instead of a cloud chasing mediocre video podcast. Come on, is Vox insecure pursuing a lure? Flitting between this fat and that is nothing working. Ignore his chirping. Every day's got a new format. I'm the future. You're the shit that comes before that. Is Vox as strong as he purports or is it based on his support? He'd be powerless without the other V's. Oh, please. And here's the sugar on the cream. 
He asked me to join his team. I said no and now he's pissy. That's the tea. You old timey prick, I'll show you suffering. Oh no, the TV is buffering. I'll destroy you, you little fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I'm afraid you lost your signal. Let's begin. I'm gonna make you wish that I stayed gone. Tune on in when I'm done. Your status quo will know its race is run. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Okay, let's look for fallen stars while we're here. That's actually my main objective right now, is to try to look for some fallen stars, because if we don't get fallen stars, we won't be able to make that elevator to get down to the underworld, and if we can't get to the underworld, then well, shit, fuck me. Oh, it's the desert, nice! All I need left is a demon altar, and I should be all good. It should be safe to cross the desert. Is, uh... What the? Is that Nidrion? Oh crap. Haven't seen that in a while. Desert's not safe. Desert's not safe. It has the freaking mini boss Nidrion. Oh, it's the desert castle. Holy crap. Would you look at that, chat? We got a new place to rob. Is Nidrion on his way here? That's not good. 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 Hold on. Nice. Okay, good. Fully healed. Alright, let's go. Ghosts. I need a desert key for all of these things? Really? Man. I really wish they didn't have any security in these catacombs, man. These are nice. These, this is a cute statue. Let me take that. Maybe I can sell them to the NPCs. Oh, come on, really? Come on! Charge at me. Right now, come on. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder. Mm. Ooh, so good and tasty. Mm. I don't have any keys, unfortunately. Maybe I need to kill a slime for that. Yeah, probably. This is definitely the Remnants mod at work here. Let's get out of these catacombs before I... Wait, is that the exit? That's the exit. Uh, like underground exit. Nah, we need to find fallen stars. 
I'm running out of time. Oh, there's one. I need a total of three, so it shouldn't be too bad, right? One, two, Nice. I freaking dare you. Come on. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Is this the ocean? No, it's just an oasis. another treehouse. Nice. But I'm not interested in that right now. I'll loot this stuff later. This is a really beautiful world. Holy crap. So this is the jungle. Thanks, Arid. Thanks, uh, Asphodine. I almost called your sister. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's head back, chat. And then... All I need left is an anvil and 99 torches. Yataze! Look, I got it! Okay, so now all that's left is to put it over here. Oh, wow. That is, uh, man, so uneven. All right, chat, we got the Instavator. Perfect. Look at that. I just cut through the whole earth. This is a safe, this is the safest passageway to the underground. It's all the way down to hell. Is this a... Honestly, I'm going to give myself this. You know, it's part- it's a feature, you know, it's- it's not a bug, it's a feature, it's not- it's not an exploit, it's not a cheat, it's because it's part of the game, you know? So, I'll just leave it at that. You know, if I could do it, then you know, it's- it's definitely part of the, uh, part of the game. I gave myself a couple quality of life features, you know? Because, we all know for a fact that some of the things that we do in Terraria is, like, excessively- a pain in the- Oh my god, it's a Draydon sto- It's a Draydon facility! Hold on, I'm gonna need that. Uh... Okay, okay, wait. Uh, how do we do this? It's gonna be one of those javelin guys. So this facility right here is one of the things that I'm looking for. I have to look for a bigger one in, in hell, basically. And this thing will give me some really, really essential items, so this is good. Oh, I got the red seeking mechanism? Oh, this is the- Oh my god, I just got the thing I need. Suspicious scrap. Uh, let's see, let's take that. Dubious plating? D they retextured that. Give me these potions. So, uh, basically, I just found the very thing I needed to, uh, find- to- easier to easily find the lab to the underworld this is freaking huge and I also just found the very thing that I need to actually yeah no the power cell factory is actually something I need so Draydon power cells this also means that I'm gonna have the uh the necessary items needed to uh, to create. Oh my God! Wait, gold! Holy crap! Okay, chat. This is huge.
Okay, we are definitely at gold level now. So the elevator actually takes me all the way down to the underworld. Like, completely. Like, down, down. Like, like all the way to the very bottom pits of hell. So this is huge. This is huge for me. I was planning on not using the elevator, to be honest, but nah. Wait, what is that? What is that place? Hold on. It's a dungeon? Eh? Weird place. Oh, there is the- there is hell! Is that obsidian? Huh, obsidian. Cool. All right, now this is where things get interesting, chat. I'm gonna need some better tools. Okay, all right, so we're gonna need some better tools. So first things first. You grab a gold pickaxe. Grab this, and we grab that. Okay, and then we are going to get these power cell factories fully operational. Oh, I can make lab turrets now? That's sick, okay. So I can't believe I got the suspicious scrap early, that's really nice. So, Mysterious Circuitry, there is a melee weapon that I could probably craft using this thing, but I'm not sure where to... how to get it. Oh my god, the Kurosawa from Armored Core is in here. <laughs> ah, there you are, Galvanizing... oh, never mind. Looks like I can't get anything yet, unfortunately. Actually, wait, hold on. How do I get the charging station? Oh, I don't have it yet. That's basically why. I don't have the, uh... Yeah, no, I don't have enough to get the, uh, charging station yet. Wait, actually, wait, wait, hold on a second. Codebreaker, Decryption Center, all of these are like really essential, but what mods are you using? So I'm using, so the main content mods that I'm using right now are Calamity, Fargo's, and Stars Above. The rest are just uh, content, like, you know, just content, or not content, but like they are, the rest are basically just, um, the rest are uh, quality of life mods. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I found the word! <laughs> so how you doing, Skr -skr -o. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hi. Welcome in. Recipe browser. Yup, and, and recipe browser, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the essentials. Alright, let's go! Let's head down to the underworld. We have the, uh... We have a gold pickaxe, so what I could basically do now is mine obsidian, and once I mine obsidian, which... Fortunately, we have a lot of those uh, near the underworld. I'll be able to create an obsidian skull so I won't die by touching literally anything in the nether. I think that's obsidian. Yeah, that's obsidian. That's definitely obsidian. Let's go mine all this! Okay, so how much obsidian do we need again for, for an, a skull? 20. I have 24. I need to go get a furnace. Okay, hold on. 
I'm trying to get the Murasama. Because the Murasama, fortunately... I fortunately have the the Calamity rework or revamp. So you're in the middle of Thorium. Ooh, nice. Thorium's really lit. So yeah, I, I have the Calamity rework or revamp. So I could pretty much just get the Murasama immediately, but like it's going to be like unupgraded. And it's going to have like 10 damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get that first. And I'm gonna, you know, basically that's when we start killing bosses. I sh I have, like, way better weapons, but I just want to get it. It looks so cool. <laughs> Alright, boys and girls, we made it to the underworld. Say hello to hell. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. But hey, I mean, we made it pretty early, you know. Cause hell is forever whether you like it or not Had their chance to behave better now they boil in the pot Cause the rules are black and white there's no use in trying to hide it They're burning for their lives until we kill them again Hell's forever and it's meant to suck a lot So give up your dumb endeavor cause you don't have a shot Long as I got your attention, I guess I should probably mention that we made the determination that I just touched lava and I died with all my coins. I, um, that was 15 gold. What is, ugh, I, wow. I should have checked my money first before I headed down there, <laughs> didn't I? Yeah, that's what I should have done. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Wow. You know, let me go look up Calamity, Calamity Weapon Progression Melee. I'm just gonna look it up right now. Uh, Guide Class Setups, let's see. Pre-Hard Mode, Melee, Pre-Bosses, Monstrous Knives, Death Crusher, Starf, you're, wait, what? St wait, Terragrim, what's that? Ooh, what's this? Uh, that appears to be sword, but it's not an actual blade when used. How do I get this? Dear Kos is the Terragrim's hard mode expert exclusive upgrade. Huh. Okay, wait, hold on a second. Uh, monstrous knives. How do I get these? Also, Death Crusher? What the heck? Death Crusher. Moray Eels. Releases aesthetic water droplets. Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, let's get the monstrous knives first. Oh, wait, I used up all of my... No, nah, I, I can't. I can't get it because I used up all of my stuff. Ew, falcon blade. Doesn't do anything. Burnt sienna. What is this? Tomb crawlers. When swung, the blade releases cosmetic light particles. Oh. Literally absolutely nothing. Okay, cool. I think my bat sword is still good. Yeah, I'm gonna... Wait, did it say biome blade? No. So I could probably... Wait, how do I get the gi? Gi. Traveling merchant. Ah. Yeah, I can't use that. Because I can't get it because I don't have it. Uh, Feral Claws? How do we get this? Oh, Jungle Shrines. Are you kidding me? I have to go to the jungle for this? Dang. Okay, wait, hold on. Maybe maybe, maybe there's something that uh, something else that I could use. Hold on. How did... How to get Arcalis? Hey Ozzy, how's it going? How to get hero sword? How you doing, Ozzy? Hope you're doing well. Are you post my terror hard mode crafting? Nah, that's not it. I'm trying to look for it. Hold on. So Terragrim. Not the broken hero sword. The uh, master sword? I forgot the name. Enchanted sword? 
Because I'm going to be playing melee, right? So I think it's best if I were to use, you know, that. Uh, let's see. Oh, back on unique background object and enchanted sword shrine are very rarely in the cavern slayer. When the object is destroyed, it has a 150 chance, 2% chance to drop a terragram rather than enchanted sword. Enchanted Sword Shrine is a terrain feature that generates a small cave below the surface. It has a one-third chance to generate with a one-tile shaft leading to the top of the cave. The cave's background is made of flower walls, features small hill fools of water with either sign, background object to jot the tear game, and Enchanted Sword otherwise. Enchanted Sword, surface of the underground layers on the, on the outer two-thirds of the map in dirt or stone terrain. Okay, so I should be able to get it. I just need to... Well, actually, you know what? There's a better way for me to do this. I just realized. Hold on. Yeah, I, I just realized there's a better way for me to go through the underworld without absolutely dying. Just use the insta bridges. Yeah, I could just use the insta bridge. Oh, I need more fallen stars. Never mind. I don't have any fallen stars. All right, let's head over. Let's head down to the underworld. Head down in the underworld we go. Head down to the underworld we go. For a highway to hell. A bam, bam, highway to hell. I have 79 over here if you need them. <laughs> Man. Okay, let's go back to the lab. Maybe there's a charging station that I completely missed, right? No, I didn't. Wow. That's an electric panel. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Doing great. Yeah, there's no there's no charging station. Damn, I got unlucky. I got the I got the uh the underground hell lab, but I, uh, hell lab locator, but I don't have the charging station. So I can't charge it, even though I'm generating Dreadon power cells. Wait, what's over here? Ooh, and there's another mineshaft with a bunch of ores. And I got diamonds. Oh my god, guys, look, I got diamonds. I got the strongest material in the game in Minecraft. Or close to the strongest, whatever. You get what I mean. What did I get here? Ooh, okay. Literally... Oh, wait. I dare you to hit me. I get busy af uh, after my exams, but I'm fine. I hope you're doing great. Yeah, I'm going to be streaming at this, uh, at this hour usually now, so... Uh, hopefully you get to stop by my streams a lot more. Oh, brother. They, they really won't let me get that Murasama easily, huh? It's not going to be an easy time for me, is it? Yeah, no. This is definitely not going to be an easy task. I just want to get the Murasama, man. I just want to be like Jetstream Sam from uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I just want to be like, oh, something, something, something. I got the power or something like that. Now I see your sword as a means of justice. Whoa. You use your sword as a tool of justice. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Wait, hold on a second. There is a specific thing that I need to create using a heart crystal earlier. What was it again? Hold on. Uh, I'm trying to look for it. Yo, guys, help me out here. What is that thing that I needed to create using a enchanted, using a heart crystal? <gasps> Monstrous knives! Yeah, 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 never mind. I remember now. Oh, I think I used them all. Whatever. Oh, I don't have any iron. 
Because I sold them all. No, I'd have to go mining for them again. I have to do the mine of shame. No! I'm gonna have to mine! <laughs> Wait, hold on. I just realized. Can I sell Dreydon cells? Huh. I, can sell I got 202 iron bars for you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think I can get him. Wait, I just realized. Hold on. You know what's really funny about the Draydon power cells? Yeah. You could actually break them down. And turn... Yeah, I completely forgot about that. You could actually do that with the uh, Draydon power cells. You can just break them down in the extractinator and then you'll be able to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just do that. Phase Slayer. I can't get lab gaming table. Kevin, 23,000 damage. That's definitely like a way end game mod. So I can't get any of the uh Alright, let's head down to the uh underworld. Let's head down to the mine shaft so we can get lots of ores. Wrong area. There you go. Okay, let's get some iron. Oh, there's some iron. Our search has been completed, for the most part. Not really, no. Let's make use of the Spelunker Potion and try to just get more. The eggs reject me trying to get the blade. What is going on with these things? Ooh, silver. No, I don't need those anymore. I need gold. Oh, wait, that's another heart crystal. Give me that. Okay, luckily I'm not gonna use... Okay, good. Come on, where's the gold? Wait, do I need gold? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. What do I even need? Oh, right, I need I need to be held. I, need, I want mommy, I want milk. Yeah, that's crazy. What am I saying? I don't need anybody. I'm a strong, independent man and don't need no person to tell me what to do, you know? I'm gonna slay. Oh, crap. Yeah, no, I didn't slay. <laughs> I got slain. Okay, let's see. Okay, with this in mind, now we can get the knives. And we still don't have enough, unfortunately. I need 200 in total, what the heck? Can I just buy them from the NPC? I completely forgot about that. Can I actually just buy it? No, I can't, wow. Did you know you can sell bunnies for five silver and 32 copper? <laughs> I know I'm an evil person. Ooh. Ooh. By golly gee, I just murdered a buddy. How do you guys feel? My friend Wham's gonna kill me when they find out that I just killed a bunny. One of their kind. Well, actually, no, they're a dust buddy, so I don't think they care. Nah, they'd probably still care. 
but still. <laughs> I killed a bunny. What are you guys gonna do about it? <laughs> By the way, guys, tomorrow I'll be streaming some PUBG. So I hope you guys uh, look forward to that. PUBG is gonna be crazy. Okay, now that I got everything I need, I just need to go to an anvil and make the monstrous knives. 12 worms sell for 63 silver? Really? I'm still gonna kill them. <laughs> I'm still gonna kill them. Nice! Okay, cool! Alright! We are we are getting somewhere. We are pod racing, chat. Alright, so let's go ahead and put all of these. Let's grab that. Let's keep the spatial disk. Okay, so boss log. Uh Okay, so we have to start with the Trojan Squirrel? What is this? What? I have to get a squirrel. He just fell down. I have to catch a squirrel and 20 wood and then I'll be able to- what? That's such a- it's so weird. What? So in order for- so I have to kill- a, a giant squirrel. Huh. Well, let's go look for a squirrel, chat. That's not a squirrel. I think I'm a bit overleveled for this. Nah, it's fine. Whatever. Nothing's too overleveled for eternity mode. I'll be killing I've Cthulhu later, remember chat? Yeah, we're gonna kill I've Cthulhu. This is like an eternity mode, uh, death mode hybrid run, so this is going to be a really tough run, chat. We have quadruple difficulty because I'm also running this in master mode. <laughs> I have to get one squirrel. Like, how is it this hard to find one squirrel? Like, the other one, like, ran off a cliff, but, like, y you know, like, I can find more, right? Kind of peaceful, you know? Ah, look at me. After talking crap about squirrels, now they're not showing up. Ah, I bullied them so hard they stopped existing. Why must I badmouth the wildlife when I want to kill them myself? Very peaceful for now. <laughs> When I start fighting that King Slime, I'm going to uh, start regretting my actions. You know, these- these, uh, monstrous knives are actually so good. One squirrel. You know, actually, let's go explore the world a little bit and see what's like. 
lurking on other parts of the world because honestly i think i'm gonna need that i'm gonna need to map out my my landscape you know my runescape my landscape i should have i should have caught those scorpions i actually need those i think i think i'm not sure what is that thing amber crawler oh Wait, it's Nidreon! Oh no. If I could kill Nidreon now, I'll be able to... Ah, oh, dude. I, I have to kill Nidreon. There's no walking out of it. I, I need to kill him. Okay, you know what? Let's just, uh, hold on. Let's just try to fight the Slime King instead. So, 20 gel plus a gold crown. Oh, wait, I have exactly enough. Okay, cool, and I just need a ruby. And then I just go to an anvil and make the crown good. So now all I need left is a demon altar. Then I'm good. I think there is one in the uh, underworld. No? There should be one in hell. Let's go find out, chat. Highway to hell. Bam, bam. Highway. To hell. Ah. I just gonna go down to hell. Right now. There you go. What the? Wow. A, a demon really just did that to me. He did me so dirty. He just like walked up to me. He's like, hey, look, look at this. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> he just said, ah, ha, ha, look at me. I am right here and I'm about to kick your ass. Wow. Woo. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm just going to shut up. now. <laughs> I'm getting insane. Wow. Did... Wow, these guys are actually so tough. What? Okay, that's it. Where's the Calamity Bible? Alright, where's the, uh, yeah, this guy. Hey, buddy. Tell me what's up. Boreal Wood Enchantment. Enchantment? How am I supposed to get these? What else do I need? Cactus. Okay, I could probably get that one. What do I need? Never mind! I need fish? Wait. I just realized I could probably catch a squirrel now. Hey, squirrel! Come out! A squirrely squirrel, I need you f to jam you into a freaking summoning item. I know it sounds morbid, but you know. Oh, there's one. Give me that. Yes. Now. How do I put you into a summoning thing? Oh, workbench. Okay, cool. All right, chat, my first but I don't have 20 wood. Damn it. I don't have 20 wood. 
Man, I need wood. Where can I get some? Never mind, I got some wood right here. Squirrel coat of arms. Let's go get it. Let's go use that and go kill squirrel. A massive squirrel. A big ass squirrel. Oh my god, what? That freaking scared me. Wow, this thing has so many things, like... Nurse, 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 nurse! He heal me! Come on! Nurse! Oh my god! Okay, so I completely... There, there was an oversight in my plan. There was a massive oversight that I completely realized after... Well, that happened. I forgot to make an arena for this thing. Let's go make an insta-bridge. Oh, I already do have one. Let's go put you over here as I'm trying to make a massive arena. Oh crap. Mauro the painter has arrived. Okay, I think this should be good. The dodge roll. Oh, nice. Come on. You're not so tough, huh? Now that I got an arena. Okay.
Oh crap, wait, he's actually gonna kill me. Oh no. He's gonna charge at me, isn't he? Oh my god. Oh, dude! Ah! Oh. Oh. No! I could probably kill him, though. No, no, hear me out, shot. I could probably kill it. Just need to get the right weapons for this. Alright, so what does Calamity recommend me to get? Because these monstrous knives are kind of booty cheeks. So, uh, let me see, let me see. Death Crusher. How do I get these? Moray Eels? Hmm. They spawn in the ocean in the first layer of the abyss. It swims around when- Ah, oh, okay, so I have to actually- Ugh, oh, man. I can't get that yet. All right, let's go. Come on. Bro, Sandy Cheeks is like... Sandy Cheeks is having a meltdown, guys. He's about to clap my Sandy Cheeks, chat. Oh no. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't afford- Shut up. Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, arena? Insta. Let's see what kind of Insta stuff we got. Yeah, I think we're gonna need that Murasama. Or actually, you know, we could travel to the- I'm gonna travel to the, uh... To, uh the ocean later, but I have an idea on where I could probably get stronger and how I could get stronger. I'm gonna head into the caves, but not exactly into the underworld. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go to the marble area. Because the marble area, I realized I haven't looted any of the chests there yet. Which means that there could be some essential weapons that I could get there. Possibly. Oh, would you look at that? Gladiator Breastplate. And Hermes Shoes. Perfect, that's an upgrade. Oh, this is Rogue. Oh, shoot. I can't use that. The Trojan Armor Set has a sword, too? Really? Hold on. Trojan. Calamity Trojan. Ah, it's- oh, it's the vanilla- it's a vanilla set. Okay, cool. So far, I've only gotten the gladiator helmet. But we'll find out in a sec. Six defense, five defense. Let's grab this.
Wait, this is the sharpening station. Yeah, I need the. Hmm. Titan potion. Let's go find some chests, chat. Let's see. Wait, that's another Draydon area. Huh? Ooh, wait. Good find. And some more power cell stations. Perfect. What's that? Huh? Oh crap. Oh wait, there he is. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, wait. Platinum bars and a gladiator's locket? Nice! I just dropped 36 gold. Crap. Okay, hold on. Did you get the weapon you wanted? Uh, unfortunately not yet. However, I have gotten a lot of stuff lately. But that's really, really good. There's been a bunch of stuff that I managed to snag, so it's like, it's, everything's looking good right now. Yeah, this is looking really nice. Here, hold on, let me just get my infinite money glitch here. Perfect. How's the killing of trees? Oh, I managed to make the, uh, I managed to make the NPC house, so everything's looking good, but I lost all of the money that I earned, so I'm gonna have to go back down there and try to get it back. I'm gonna get my revenge. Gladiator's Locket. Enemies drop a healing orb on kill again. Increase your damage and movement speed to lower your health is up to 20%. That's sick. Okay, let's see if I could try to get my, find my way back there. Oh, wait. There you go. Mm. Mm. Ooh, wait. Javelin. Nope, it still rejected me. Yeah, that thing still rejected me. <laughs> Ancient chisel? Ooh, wait, mining speed plus 20%? That's kind of huge, actually. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, Sato. Hold that thought. But yeah, no, I'm absolutely like gaming right now. I got so many gold coins. But uh, I lost them all to these nerds, so I'm trying to get my stuff back. I'm trying to get my money back. There you go. 
Nice! My 46 gold! It's back! Okay, so uh, let's head back. And I'm gonna... Hold on. Let me just go ahead and put these in the piggy bank so I don't lose them again. There you go. Good. Restock. Good. Nice. And all I need left... Hmm... Sell, S sell, sell this, sell that. What does ancient bone dust do? Hold on. Eh, I don't really need that. No. Yeah. Okay. Sell this. Sell that. Sell this too. Sell this that. Sell that. Uh, we're gonna keep this. Sell this, sell that, sell, sell. Okay, cool, nice. So yeah, Sato, um, so far everything's been working fine. So far though, unfortunately, I cannot kill a single boss just yet because I'm not strong enough. I do want that sword so I could like start, you know, I could, I could start gaming. There is another thing that I could do b before I get there. Nah, let's not. Let's not do that yet. Alright, let's go. Okay, so. Our next objective chat. Unfortunately, since I don't have the charging station, I'm gonna have to... I won't be able to use this red-seeking mechanism yet. But first, let me actually check how to get a charging station. It's furniture to charge certain weapons. It uses Draenon power cells to grant weapons charge. I have to find these, like, underground. Or have to find these in the labs. But unfortunately, none of the research labs that I have found uh, are able to use that. Or, uh, I mean, I'm not able to find them, so... I'm gonna have to find something else to... Oh, no. Wow. I swear, I'm, I'm still not strong enough to kill those demons. They're found apparently inside Arsenal Labs in the cavern layer. Hold on. Arsenal Labs. Calamity. Various lab laboratory structures. Uh, uh, all laboratory structures contain ancient security, security chests, and other functional furniture that charge weapons defended by lab turrets. Okay, so those are the ones with the lab turrets, which I can't find. So, uh, hold on. skill issue to be honest wow okay i see i see now all right all right okay okay let's head left actually hold on Ooh, wait, hold on. More Spelunker potions, gladiator leggings. This is still better than my gold. I don't have... Unfortunately, I don't... I'm not using rogue weapons, so I can't actually use the... the effects for these, but... At least I got better armor now. Is this what I think it is? Oh my goodness, it's a Draydon lab. Are we gonna walk my puppy? Okay! I found the freaking lab. It's not the hell lab, unfortunately, but... Um... This? Something good. This is also good. This is not the Murasama, unfortunately, but... This will do for now. Grab this. What's in here?
Ah, oh, crap, hold on. Ha ha ha, sucka! I know how to get around your defenses. <laughs> ah! Oh god! Good. Okay, hold on. Let's just try to get around and try to... Nice. This is a really nice looking lab. I'll be perfectly honest. I like it. I like the looks of this. I'll just grab you. Just for the decoration. I feel like there's something I'm missing here. I don't know. Onyx plate? Can I use some- can I do something with that? Hold on. Ooh, wait. Oh, this is a summoner thing. Alright, let's head back to the surface. And now we got a lead, chat. Okay, chat, so, uh, all we need now is to put these charging stations right here. We put Dradon power cells, just jam these cells in the, uh, and over here. Just grab these cells. Yeah, we grab these cells and we're gonna be charging up our iPods and our iPhones and all that stuff right now. Yeah, we get we gotta we gotta jam it all in there. Like uh, my lawyers advised me not to uh, continue that. Um. <clears throat> anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and jam these in here, and we're gonna go and charge our lab locator. And our lab locator is gonna be helping us find the lab that we need. We got lucky, and I, I was able to get the Red Seeking Mechanism, and the Red Seeking Mechanism will help us find the Underworld, uh, lab. Yeah. It's a really cool thing. Really cool air thing. Unfortunately, I can't get- wait, hold on a sec. Can I get the taser? Hold on a second. Get out of here. Rimuru doesn't exist in this world. Equipable vanity item. Dradon's eyes are on you. Hmm. Okay, so let me go see what kind of weapons we can create here. Cannot attack while a boss is alive? Dang, that would have been so funny. I can't use. I, there's no taser. Wait, I used. There used. I swear there was a taser before. There it is, taser. Oh, area light? Dang. I can't get that yet. The tracking disc was so good when I first used it. All right, let's see, chop. All right, so. Uh, now that we have made it to... Hold on. Just realized. How can I get the Hell one? Hellstone. Wait! Maybe I could get Hellstone already.
Yeah, wait, hold on. What kind of Hellstone weapons should I use? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, let me see. So, I could probably get... I could get the Flamer Ring. Oh, I could also get the uh, Volcano. Oh, the Fiery Greatsword. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could use that. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll head down there. We're gonna try to find. We're gonna try to get that uh red. We're gonna try to get the uh. Uh, the Underworld Lab. And once I get there... <laughs> you guys know... What will come. Okay. Let's go. All I need to do is go down there and... Find the lab. Oh my goodness! Okay, we're gonna need... We're gonna need some better stuff. Hmm. Hmm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. How can I not die? But also be able to... Yeah, I know, right? That was quick. I'm trying to think of a- I'm trying to think of a way. I'm trying to- I'm trying to think of a way, chat. Hmm. Thing is, I can't go to the altars yet to summon King Slime and be able to get his passive. Because the thing is about King Slime is, well... Huh, why don't I go to King Slime? Jungle is that way. You know what? Let's do that. Okay, you're right. Fine, 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 fine. Let's go explore the world. Let's go explore the world right now. Well, as it's almost turning night. Because this means that if I kill King Slime now, I will be able to get a lot of the things I want. Because, or not really all the things I want, but like, I should be able to... You know, one, I'll be able to kill my first boss, which means I'll get my first Stellar Array. And I think I'll get, like, a boss's soul from killing King Slime. And I'll be able to use that to craft a new weapon. All we need to do is find one single... Wait, this is the... Huh. No biome. Wait, I could get the Boreal Wood stuff here. Uh, yeah, wait, I, I just realized. Hold on. I could get the enchantment. I need Shiver Thorns, Plums, and... What? Snowballs? Okay, I have plums. Okay. So how do I get snowballs? Oh, I just... Oh, huh, that was simple. So all I need left are shiver thorns, and then I'll be set. That is a really short biome. Holy crap. Alright, let's see.
Okay, so all I need now is to just grab this, make a workbench. And then I just need to make a full set of armor of boreal wood. In order to get the enchantment, I need to go to a crimson altar. And I also need sugar. I need also I also need shiver thorns as well. Ugh, damn. That's the thing I was missing. Out of all the things I could be missing, it was a freaking plant. Man, tough day. Energy core? What does this do? Hmm. Storage battery! Oh! These are the, uh... Oh wait, I could... I could get these. I just need a wolf room battery. Okay. Let's see. Do I have the batteries? I do not. Damn, okay. Well, what I'm gonna do now is to try to just get as much of the wolf room stuff as possible. Because if I could get their batteries, right? If I could get one battery, I'll be able to get a shield generator, which means I'll be able to take less damage now. And be focused on defense, and if I focus on defense, I'll be able to absolutely clap cheeks, so... Hopefully things go well in that direction. But first, I'm going to need a shiver thorn, which is literally a plant. A plant that I can't find. Is that a penguin? Oh my god, it's a penguin. I just killed it. Penguin da! Mm. You know what I just find funny? I just realized, chat. I could have gotten... A really crucial item because I have enough I have enough gold to be able to actually make it now or to buy it now is that a floating island holy crap it's a floating island it's so close to the ground Oh my gosh! There you go. Wow, this is a... Uh, like paradise, but it's lost. It's like Paradise Lost. What is this stuff? Stellar Remnants? Oh, I found the battery! Nice! What does this do? Hmm. Oh, it makes fallen stars. Cute. Harpies.
Okay, so now that I got what I needed. Let's make that shield generator. Let's replace the band of regeneration. However, I'm going to keep that for safekeeping because there's something that I'm going to use it for later. Oh, nice! Look! Look at that! Cool. Maybe this time I could actually go to the underworld and actually not die. <laughs> I'm still going to die. I need a stronger melee weapon. Uh, I could go to the ocean. The ocean would be a really good idea. However, there's just no potion that takes me straight to the ocean. Straight ahead. Oh, dude, I was so close. Oh my gosh. I was doing so well. Hmm. Wait, I just... No, 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 hold on a second, chat. I just, I just noticed something. Just so I don't forget it ever again. I have the freaking pylons now, boys and girls. And everyone in between. I have the frickin' pylons. You know what this means, right? We got fast travel, baby! Heck yeah! We got the frickin' fast travel. It's gonna be... Hey, uh, hey. I don't need to go down the elevator anymore. I can just go and put this down and I can just teleport straight there. Yeah! Ikaze! All I need to do is just put this right over- just put this bad boy over here and I'll boom, look, I can just- The moment I had like- like close to a platinum, I should have just done that. Okay. So now the travel time is gonna be a lot- A lot safer now, or it's gonna take me less time to get there. Okay, hold on. Oh my god, he just, like, looked at me. Very gently. And caressed me with the feeling of death by just, like, punching me with the, uh, 
thingamabob. You know what I mean. Gave me the sweet release of death by... Fireball. The irony. It was truly ironic. There's no way. I just got a really good sword. Holy crap. Okay. Yep, here we go. Uh, I'm using Calamity. I'm also using Fargo's uh, Souls mod and Mutant mod. It's a lot. But it's not too much that it overloads my game, right? I'm also using Calamity Revamp, so I, uh, Calamity Overhaul, so I can use, so I can get the Murasama early, so that's what I'm hunting for right now, actually. Where is it? Ugh, I have to go to the right. No! Ah, oh, man, I, mm, I had a freaking pylon in my inventory, come on. Okay, on the bright side, I got the Blade Crest Oat Sword. Which means that we're getting somewhere. We're we're absolutely gaming. We're yeah, we're gaming. I have like a non-true melee weapon now. I should really make the platforms bigger. I don't know. Just I'm just too lazy to craft the item. All right, let's see. Come on. Okay, that's awkward. You know what? I'm just gonna make it. Uh, hold on. I mean, do I have any fallen stars? That's the big question. Like, I have one. Okay, so I could probably make that goofy, uh, yeah, I can make that really that goofy uh um short bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could probably do that. I just realized maybe I could fight the giant squirrel now. Yeah, because I have a ranged weapon or technically a melee weapon, but like it's like kind of ranged. Yeah, no, this is definitely doable now. Well, wow, I'm actually about to kill it. Wow. I'm actually about to kill it. Wait. Well, that was something. Oh, cool. Let's see what you dropped. Oh, I got the relic. Nice. That's our first relic of the uh, of the run, guys. Nice. Okay, so the stellar array got a new ability. Huh? <laughs> from just from that? Okay, cool. Okay, Asphodine, what do you got? There's literally nothing. What? What are you? Hey, what's up, Chicken Nugget? Oh. I got a tier 2 skill in the very beginning of my run. Amazing. Awesome sauce. Alright, let's see what kind of a uh, thing you gave me. Ooh, wait, hold on. Armored box of gizmos? <gasps> this is a Spelunker potion thing! Nice! Okay. What else you got? Squirrel hook? Is this Calamity Hell? Yeah, it is! You bet the heck it is. I'm also using Fargo's, just to uh, just to make sure. This is I'm also using Fargo's. Yeah, it's gonna be Fargo, Stars Above, Calamity.
Okay, so I just got obs I saw an obsidian skin potion. So that's really good. I got... Wait a minute, what? I'm trying to examine my stuff here, man. Get out of my way. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me just grab this, put you back in here. Actually, no, I need the snowballs for later. In case I find the demon altar in the underworld. Just in case. Are you melee? Yup. I know I'm wearing the gladiator armor, but like this is the best defense that I got right now. So that's exactly why I'm just uh, using this. But like, obviously I'm gonna, hopefully, eventually, I'm gonna try to spec into, into better uh, gear. Why do I still have the hologram projector? Hold on. Yeah, melee is the funnest class to me. Because the thing is, I usually run rogue, but if I'm playing something like, um, like with Fargo's Eternity mode plus master, uh, plus master and death mode, I need all the defense I can get. <laughs> so I figured, you know what? Let me just, let me just do do myself a favor and give myself like at least some kind of leg up, right? Yeah, I need some type of leg up. So I won't like, so this run wouldn't be fun to do, right? And also because I want to get the Murasama. And the Murasama, I have Calamity Overhaul, so I'll be able to actually use it, which is why I'm hunting it down right now, actually. But the demons are screwing me up. So hopefully in this run, you guys will be able to see me absolutely try to clap cheeks. Or get my cheeks clapped. I'm, I'm not really sure. It really depends on what you desire. If you'd rather see me getting clapped or... Wait, hold on a second. Damn, not a single one, really? Wow. Where's my inventory? Attorney mode. Just prefix stats. Re Reduce- okay, cool. Anyways, so, uh, Rogue is busted during- yeah, end game, right? But, like, for- For, you know, like, pre-hard mode, it's not really that good. I've done it before. It's not fun. It only got fun the moment, like, um, what was it? The moment you started fighting, like, uh, hard mode stuff. Like, it's- that's when I started having fun. Like, that that's when I started having fun, was when, like, a poltergast happened. Or when I was getting, like, the, uh, fantasy talismans. Like, that's when it started getting fun. Yeah, boss checklist or not? Nah, so I do. Uh, because I can't keep track of every single boss. So, yeah, I have a Calamity, Fargo's, and... Uh, Remnants, obviously, for the generation. But uh, mo the major content mods that I have are Calamity. Uh, what was it? It's just Calamity. <laughs> it's in it's in the tip of my tongue. Calamity, Stars Above, and Fargo, and the rest are just um quality of life. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Checkpoint. I will get that. Wait, that's a Hellforge! Hold on. Give me that. Also, I saw the traveling merchant. I gotta I gotta talk to him. Cause I wanna get that gi. If I wanna get that gi, that's when I start like my melee weapons start like doing good damage. And of course he doesn't have it. I hate you so much. I I hate you so much. DPS meter is cool. Lifeform analyzer would be lit, but like, man. I just wanted to. Ah, oh, man. Wait, actually, hold on. Let me let me head back. Have you ever played Thorium? Yeah, actually, yeah. I have played it years, uh, years back. Uh, but to me, like, I feel like Calamity and Thorium together, just the balancing is way too. 
like favorable of Calamity because Calamity's numbers are way too busted. So I just ditched Thorium at that point. Because it just like, like most of the Thorium stuff would just be useless at that point. It's fun though. Like on its own, yeah, it is fun. Wait, is that a... No! I just got the old lord... Oh, wow, that's not that great. Whoa! Okay, never mind. I like that sword. Okay, lab. Where are you? Still to the right? Are you kidding me? Okay, good. Luckily, I set a checkpoint there, so that's good. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to buy more pylons. Uh, let's see. Superior, superior. Yeah, okay. I feel like Calamity is really different than Thorium. It is, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it's like it has its own charm. That's that's the that's the thing about it. Yeah, it does have its own charm, and I do appreciate it. But I just like calamity. <laughs> yeah, no, that's just me. I just love calamity. Calamity is really fun. Hey, it's me. Playing Terraria. How are you? Oh no. Oh nice. I'm in hell. Lemony over Thorm any day. Yeah. That's just me though. Obviously, you can. You guys are all free to like whichever uh, mod you like. I, I just personally love Calamity. How do I use this thing? Oh! What's your favorite boss? Uh, so far... Providence. Oh my god, chat, we made it! We made it! The lab! Oh my god! We did it before we did any of the bosses! Oh, that's huge! Hold on. Hold on, give me a sec. The more Sama's right there. Hold on, Sui. Hold that thought. Your favorite is Poltergast. Wow, okay. That's interesting. <gasps> I did it! I made it to the Murasama! Where are you? <gasps> there you are! <laughs> we got it! It's only dealing 11 damage, but I don't care. I don't care anymore. I got it. Oh, there's a reason why I love this weapon. You guys are gonna find out later. 
Oh my goodness. I freaking got it, chat. Let's test it out. Heck yeah! This is Calamity Overhaul. I'll be able to use the Murasama. But like, I'm, it's gonna be better once I kill more bosses. But for right now, uh, it's not gonna be too much. It's not gonna be great. But look at how fast the attack speed is. Like that's that's huge. Oh, that's huge. Okay, let's head back. Oh. Okay, so. Now that we got the Murasama. Wait, right click to aim and press the trigger key? To launch the blade? Wait, 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 hold on a second. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on a second, what? Launch the blade? <gasps> oh, now we're talking. Oh, dude. Okay, this is gonna be huge. Oh my god. The only thing I know for real, there will be blood. Shed. The man in the mirror, not his head. The only one. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, that's sick. Okay, chat, we're gonna head over and look for. Wait, actually, before we head over. Before we head over, let's actually put away a lot of our stuff. So. When we find things, we can actually, you know, get stuff back and not have to, like, worry about them. If you guys know what I mean. I just want to make sure that... Oh, actually, I'm going to need those plums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to make sure that I have a, like, almost clear inventory. You know how to build in Terraria? Bruh, of course. Of course. Of course I know how to build in Terraria. What do you take me for? I played all the way up to like, um... So, to put it into perspective, I have played Modded Terraria for a long time now. But I haven't completed anything in Calamity past Yaron because I just didn't have the patience to. The last time I did it, I was in the server. But other than that, um, I just didn't have the patience to complete any of it. And also because I always had overloaded mod packs. But this time, I have a not-so-overloaded mod pack. So I should be good. Uh, I've been playing for all my houses are tall rectangles. Oh, like, oh, you mean complex building? Yeah, no, I also have tall rectangles with, like, uh, little rooms. Yeah, no. No, that's like the classic Terraria modded home. You just don't have time to, like... Wait, that's sick! Wait! Hold on. Oh, that's so cool! Oh my god, I love this so much! I don't care if my other weapons deal so much more damage. I... I freaking love this sword. So it's, it's a freaking katana. I mean, I'm a ronin. I'm a ronin VTuber. What's not to love about katanas, my friends? Especially one that's a high-frequency katana blade that has a gun trigger on its hilt or scabbard or, like, next to its scabbard. You get what I mean? Oh, that's so sick. I can't wait to upgrade this thing. So in order for me to upgrade this weapon, I have to actually... So, in order for me to upgrade this weapon, I have to fight the Eye of Cthulhu and the King Slime. Which both require me to go find a demon altar, and is that... an adventurous hut? Oh, hey, look, a chest. Nice. Hold on. Ooh, paint sprayer. Presserator. Toolbox. Thanks, random house. Is that a cave?
What is this? Oh, wait, is this an underground snowy mansion? Wow. Interesting. I am gonna come back here later, so let's put down the, uh... Let's put down a checkpoint here. And let's head back. I mean, let, let, let's not head back. I mean, let's head up. Let's head up. Let's head up to the surface and try to, you know. Oh, that's so sick! I freaking love that. Gotta level that Murasama. Exactly. We gotta level up that Murasama. He seeks blood, and me too. I I'm looking for blood. We got our first relic. Wait, is this what I think it is? Hold on. Hold on, this has to be it. Please tell me this is it. This is it. This is- this is- We're so back, chat. We are so back, hold on. I swear, if this is the Arcalis, I'm gonna be so happy. Hold on. So, to those that don't know what this is, essentially, this is a... Secret sword. Or it should be. Where's the sword? Hey, buddy, do you know where the sword is? No? Okay. See ya. Bye. Okay. Anyways, let's keep going. I gotta go look for that sword. If I get that sword. Please, no, no, don't tell me this is not it. Don't tell- Wait, this is it! Wait, no, what is this? Eh? What? What? Eh? What? This isn't the- What? Trinket of Chi? You trying to craft a fractured arc? I just want to collect the sword. <laughs> That's it. I just want to collect the sword. Uh, okay. Let's take it. Um, I'll just have it in my inventory. I don't know what that is. I've never seen this area before. Really interesting build, though. We made it. Nice. Oh, we made it to the crimson. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just make ourselves at home here. Oh crap. Ah, uh, let's try to make it somewhere where I won't die. Come on, come on. Just, just, just there you go. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna have to head back. And I'm going to have to buy another pylon for the underground. Oh, wow. Wait, a scimitar that deals 34 damage? Wow, okay. Cool. I could use the calming potion, actually. Yeah, so we could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. I'm going to head out have fun. Okay, Chicken Nugget. Thank you so much for dropping in. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, let's see. I think I'm good. Let's head... Just need one Crimson Altar. One crimson altar. 
Wow, I... There's not a single one. Wow. Really? Let's head back. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe I'm missing something. That's a perforator cyst. I don't want to go there. Is this literally the same place? Yeah, I just, like, went in circles. Crap, okay, hold on. Okay, let's head a bit to the right. to find one altar. Why is it so hard to find these things? They're not usually that hard to find. Is that it? No, it's not. It's just hearts, damn. <sighs> Why is it so hard to find them? Oh, there they are. Cool. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to make a checkpoint here. Did I... Oh, crap. Oh, wait! Nice! Okay, good. I'm a genius! So now I just need to buy... Three checkpoints? I'm gonna get one for the ocean. Perfect! Okay, good! So now, all I need left is to make the slime crown, and we're getting back. Alright, let's go! Okay, we're doing good. Ikaze! Slime King! Okay, chat, we're about to face our first major boss, because the freaking squirrel's not really a major boss. We're just obviously gonna abuse the oats, uh, the oat sword. Oh my god, I just hit him and then he just died. Hold on. Well, that was easy. Alright, we did it! We killed our first major boss. Cool. Is that a... <gasps> I pet a slime! I have a pet slime! Oh, that's cute. Okay, slimy shield. Let's see. Yeah, honestly, he was a lot harder back then because I had different weapons. Ooh, I got a katana. Nice. Katana desu yo. I love. I kind of over leveled. It's like it's like the anime solo leveling where like I kind of just over leveled. Yeah, that's literally what just happened. Because usually he'd be a lot harder, but I didn't make it that way. Alright, this will be added to my sword collection. Cool, I mean, that's great. I mean, this is good money now. Alright, second relic in a row. We're just gonna fill up our relics once I... to get more of them. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna put these back. Oh, wait. I should probably get that enchantment, no? Hi, is this Roblox? Nope, this is Terraria. 
But welcome in. I hope you enjoy your stay. Shadow diamond? What do I do with a shadow diamond? Eh? Oh! Oh, I could get more of these! Oh, wait, no. No, I don't need this anymore. Because I just need the components or the uh, things. So, what do I actually need? Huh. Wait, blighted shell? Don't I need this for something? Oh. Nothing important at the moment. Okay, cool. Whatever. Alright, let's put this back. Crimson Torch, blah blah blah. Let's put all of this back. Dude, Slimy got there. Oh wait, I just realized I haven't I haven't used the treasure bag yet. Hold on. For every boss you kill in Terraria, you will actually You will actually um get a goodie bag for each boss kill. So for this one, the Slime King, boom, let's see what we got. Uh ooh. Nothing good. But we get a free mount. That's good. Yeah, we get a free mount. And we also get the solidifier. I don't have a specific place to add uh, or to place all my crafting stuff yet, so everything's gonna be a bit unorganized for now, but everything will be in order once I get more stuff. So for now, what we could do is we could keep repeatedly killing the King Slime. By going to the mutant NPC. Where is he? What? Where's the... Oh. Okay, I know exactly what to do right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I know exactly what to do right now. We are going to be getting some more... Some more building blocks because. Eh? Ah, there you are. I love the architect. What's this? Eh? Ooh, we could turn into any. Okay, that's sick. Okay, cool. Seven. Then we just go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to build as giant, as big of a facility here as possible for all the NPCs. And I'm just going to stuff them all in here. They're not really, they're, they're happy, I think. I, I think, right? I think they're happy. I think they'll be happy. They hope they will be. They could be. Okay, so let me just grab this, put you all in here. Okay, so now all I'm going to do left is to just absolutely wall everything. And this is going to take a bit of time, but, you know, it's fine. It's not gonna take that long, but like, you know, it's like, I gotta do this, right? <laughs> it's like a giant apartment complex. 
where everyone's forced to stay here or else you're gonna die outside in the outside world, right? <laughs> Gonna need some more walls. The inner confines of my uh, pr imprisonment. You filthy humans. Wait, hold on a second. There you go. It's relaxing and then like everything starts getting stressed everything's gonna start like you know amping up in pressure and then like i'm gonna start like absolutely dying so you know this is like the calm before the storm right because everything's gonna go wrong eventually you know for a fact after watching me for so long that everything is going to go completely south and there's nothing we can do about it Except cry or bitch tears. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Everything is gonna go wrong. I freaking know it. Okay. You know for a fact everything is gonna not be A-OK. -okay. Everything's gonna go completely south because I, Soma, messed up that wall. What am I doing? Okay, light source, 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 okay. Up next, one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, one, four, eight, okay, cool. I also need doors. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, I just need... I just need eight doors. Okay, cool. Okay, so... One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Six... Seven... Eight. Hmm. Oh, wait, I forgot to add the corners here. There you go. There you go. Okay, so now all I need left is to add chairs to these. Like so. One, two, three, and four. And then over here, one, two. Three. 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 Yep, two. What am I doing? Three and four. Okay, and then after that, we just need to... Boom! Would you look at that? We're gonna get some more NPCs moving in. Hey, We got a house! Add some torches in the middle up there. Oh, you're right! Yeah, my bad. I actually, I actually didn't even notice that. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I, I didn't notice that. Okay, so now all I need left is to add the very last, at least for now, the very last row up here for any other NPCs trying to move in eventually, like the Dryad. The Dryad is going to be a really important NPC if you haven't played Terraria yet. Um, because she actually... Okay, she's not that important, but she is... Eh, she's alright. Okay, the mutant uh, finally got in here. Perfect. Door. 
perfect uh, chair. Table. Good. Okay. Now, all that's left are these last few pieces of, 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 of areas in this, this. Okay, there you go. House. Oh, wait. House. Then I just need to add this. Boom. And then table. Table. Table and table with a chair on any of these sides. With boom, bam, bop, bada bop, boop, pow. And there you go! We completed a bunch of houses for NPCs, and I have overfilled. So we got one, two, three. We have a lot of space, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine houses, so we're gonna get up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So we got just about until. The mechanic kind of not really maybe yeah no we're, we're gonna have a lot of npcs later but like these guys are what we need right now so this is good i like it all right nice npcs have now been npc houses have now been finished so up next is to get fighting the eye of cthulhu crap <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough cookie to crack, chat. Yeah, that that one in specific is gonna be the really, really, really what? Huh? The Omni Blade. Doubles melee weapon size. I'm gonna need that. How do I get tungsten? Okay, we'll, we'll work on that later. All right, so uh, up next in our uh, things to do by Soma Saika, we need to get our Boreal armor again. Because I just realized we have Shiverthorn, we have Boreal armor, we also have snowballs, and the plum. Where's the plum? Where's the plum? There you go. And the plum. So we should have all of this to make it to the crimson biome to get our boreal wood enchantment. I just realized, do I even need this anymore? Like, do, do I actually need this weapon anymore? Or this enchantment? Hold on. Uh, loadout. Where's the dude that tells me how the loadout works? Hold on. I swear I didn't dump it. So it should be in here, but I can't find it. Where's that NPC thing? That NPC item that... Nah, whatever. It's fine. Looks like maybe I won't need it anyways. All right, let's see. Lens. We have three. We're going to need more. Actually, wait. Maybe I can just craft the lens. I can't. Wow. Okay, so we're just going to have to wait for night. In the meantime, what we could do actually is... I think the mutant... So the mutant is already here, if I recall. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, so what I could do right now is uh, every single time I fight a boss, the mutant mod, or the Fargo's mutant mod, lets me fight the King Slime. In a, I could fight any, um, I could fight any boss in a rematch, basically, once I kill them. So, with that said, I could actually fight the King Slime again. So, uh, hold on. Let's do it.
Funny thing is, the Slime King's weakness is uh, fire. I'm actually one of the worst opponents for him right now. He also sucks at piercing because slimes are absolutely huge. We're just bullying the Slime King right now, just so we can get some money. Perfect, nice. Oh, I can't wait to use this thing and... It's not strong yet. That's the thing. I just wanted to get it early just so I don't have to do it later. But right now the Blade Crest Oath Sword is like my best weapon at the moment. Yeah, my Oath Sword and my um the other sword is like way better right now. But this is a pretty cool weapon though, not gonna lie. I got a legendary katana. Okay, let's see how much money we earned. Not bad. Cool. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and just sell all of this to the Zoologist. Because I don't really need any of these. No. Slime gun? Nah. Okay. Uh, all we need now is... Hold on. Perfect! Nice! Okay, cool. So, uh, let's see. We got this sold. When you land after a jump, slime will fall from the sky over your cursor. Slime inflicts slimed and oiled, torn from the innards of a defeated foe. I already have one, and I don't really need these, so honestly, I'm fine. Alright, so... Uh, let's go ahead and put a lot of these into the crates, and we are going to- what uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to find more lenses to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Once you fight the Eye of Cthulhu, uh, I'll be able to finally upgrade my Murasama. And having that said- ooh wait, Tsunami to model. Nice. Okay, hold on a second. I just realized I need to make more magic storage. Let's try to expand our storage devices. Let's see, storage unit. Any silver bar? Hmm. Do I even have silver anymore? Or did I sell them all? I did. Well, I know what we're gonna do now, chat. Let's go mining. Ah, now I can finally take on the world and absolutely wreck everything now. Things are starting to look amazing. Ooh, that's a lot of silver. Ooh, mama. Mama. Ooh. Didn't mean to make you cry. 
If I'm not back again this time tomorrow Carry on, carry on As if nothing really matters Oh gosh, Mickey, look at all that silver Oh my god, oh uh, yuck Wow, look at that There's so much stuff in here, wow Okay, cool Nice Alright, let's go ahead and uh Smelt all of the silver. Okay, good. So up next is the storage units, which I need any chest plus storage component, which is any iron ingot with wood. Okay, we have a lot of wood. Do we have a lot of iron? That's the question. Yes, we do. Okay, so now all I need to do left is to first contact the merchant NPC. He doesn't sell chests. Are you kidding me? Wait, no, no, no. Hold on. The architect does. Does he not? No? What? I thought someone did. What? I thought someone sold the chest! What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, whatever. I'll just I'll just make it myself. Hold on. Uh let's see. First let's get the storage components out of the way. And let's get the chests. There you are. Then let's grab where is it? Ah, there it is. Hey, nice. Let's go ahead and dump all of this stuff in there. And never, never to come out of my inventory or never to come out of whatever you get what I mean I'm just trying to say hey look I finished this okay cool let's go look for some eyes ah demon eyes come on Is that a... huh. Cool. Neat. Oh, there's another one! Okay, wait. No lens, really? No lenses? Oh wait, the Murasama just got upgraded! Yeah, okay, so after killing the King Slime, I got... Uh, it's now upgraded to 15 damage instead of, uh, instead of, uh, 10 damage. That's huge. That's actually really huge. Alright, let's go. Let's try to keep exploring and, until we find a single demon eye. Hold on. Wait, is that a... There's no way. Hold on, there's no way. No, that's just a tree, never mind. That's just a tree. Yeah, that's just a tree. The dungeon! Perfect! Do I have a pylon? Nice. Okay, so we made it to almost the end of the world. Cool. Okay, so the dungeon is our third boss, uh, is where our third boss is lurking, and it's the, uh, NPC up there. 
the Clothier. But he, I am not strong to fight him. I'm not strong enough to fight him yet. So we're going to be going ahead and trying to find some more precious loot. My main objective is to... F One of my main objectives is to find a certain sword. And also, not only that, I want to upgrade the Murasama. So... There is something up there, I think. There's a certain sword in a stone. What? Oh! Wait, this is the, uh... Oh. Wait, what is that? I've never seen this before. Yep, this is the, uh... Yep, this is definitely the ocean. Toxic part of the ocean. There's two oceans in Calamity. One on the left side of the world, or one, one of the sides of the world, is the, uh... One of the sides of the world is essentially a... Not a paradise. A golden fishing rod. Hold on. 50% fishing power. Nice. Okay, so... As I was saying, one of the, um... One of the major parts of Calamity is that there's an ocean. One of the oceans is a... Toxic ocean. Really, really dangerous ocean. And... This is the side. The opposite side is where the uh, other ocean lurks. The uh, the actual, like, vanilla, terraria, normal ocean. And it's usually either the left side or the right side of the world. But for this one, it's on the left side, surprisingly enough. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a minute. Could this actually be the location of the sword? Wait, could this actually be it? And the game just loved to mess with me? There's no way. Hold on a second. Nah, this can't be it. No. Yeah, this isn't it. Yeah, we gotta head back. Okay. Alright. Let's see, we gotta buy another pylon. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta buy another pylon. Pylon is necessary for... Uh, certain things, but... Hold on. So if the- So if the dungeon is on the left side, then that means the right side is gonna have the... Yeah, so the right side is- has the ocean. The main ocean biome. Interesting, okay. Okay, cool. Nice. Perfect. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab another couple pylons. Four. Four to be exact. Yeah, just, just four. Just four. Already have the Slime King's relic. Cool. Let's put this in the piggy bank. 
Let's put all of our money in the piggy bank, just in case. Just in case we run into something that's really, really out to kill us. Maddie the Oracle has arrived. Nice. Okay, so, I just also realized that Nidreon, the mini-boss of Calamity's Desert, is killable now. I could probably kill it. So, with that in mind, I could murder him, grab his artifact, or his, like, rare drop, and if I get that rare drop, I'll be pretty strong. So if, if I find him again, I fought him one night, that wasn't pretty. There will be blood shed. The man in the mirror nods his head, the only one left right upon the dragon's back. Oh no, there will be blood shed. The only thing I know. Actually, I do need a checkpoint here. For another boss. Actually, wait. Do I need to... Oh, I need to kill the Desert Scourge before the... Uh... Okay, cool. Okay, let's go kill Desert Scourge before I have Cthulhu. He's part of our checklist, so... Hey, Vulture! Give me your feathers! Wow, he didn't drop his feathers. Are you kidding me? Are you, like, a kidding me right now? Okay, all I'm hoping is that I run into Nidreon here. That's all I'm hoping. Because if I run into Nidreon here, I'll be able to... Get what I need. I can't get a single key. Oh, hey, I got an antlion mandible. Nice. Wait, is that a... That's a ghost. What is, what is a ghost doing here? Ooh, you're sp spooky. Haunting my... Haunting my dungeon. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I can't break the dungeon yet. Dang. Not a single key, are you kidding me? That's actually wild. Not a single- wait. There's still some bit of a dungeon down there, hold on. Not a single- wow. Wait, those are some gold coins. I need those. Hello, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon of the Winds of Destruction. Jack the Ripper? Don't you mean me, Samuel, Samuel Rodriguez. Also of the Winds of Destruction. Why did I sound Italian there for a second? Oh, mamma mia! You dare do this at the day of my daughter's wedding? You dare slay winds of destruction on the day of my daughter's wedding? Okay, looks like I'm just gonna have to focus on- Wait, wait, I heard a vulture, I heard a vulture, I heard a vulture. Where is he? Are you kidding me? Not a single feather? 
Wow, okay. You know what? Let's just, uh... I think I'm strong enough to fight the I've Cthulhu anyways. Yeah, I think I'm strong enough to fight the eye. I mean, look, I mean, I have literally a thing that decimated the King Slime. I mean, how hard would an I've Cthulhu be? Now that I have this weapon. And also the Muramasa, the Murasama. So all I need to do is just make sure I go to every single nook and cranny of this world. Try to find one single, like, two block wide uh, hole that will lead me straight to the Master Sword. It sounds ridiculous, but that's literally the whole premise of the uh, Arcalis sword. It's a really rare sword that, um, only on certain occurrences- Is that it? It was only on certain occurrences where I'm able to- That's not it. I'll notice it when I notice it. Oh hey look, a mine shop. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a darn moment. This is a jungle shaft. Huh. Cool. Give me that. This is the same thing as those other uh, modded areas. I can't find a single Master Sword. Or not Master Sword. What? I keep calling it the Master Sword, but it's not the Master Sword. It's called the Enchanted Sword. Okay, fine. It's a Master Sword, but you know. That's beside the point. I'm trying to find one. It's kind of hard to find one. Okay, I'm just gonna add a checkpoint here just in case. Really expensive checkpoint, not gonna lie. It's almost night. Okay, perfect. Jack the Ripper. It's me, Samuel Rodriguez. Okay, let's see. I should be. Is that it? Nah, that's not it. It's like a two block wide tunnel leading straight down. Like, it's like. It's like if someone dug straight down and tried to hide something. Oh, we made it to the ocean and I couldn't find it. Well, checkpoint acquired. Guess it's not here in this world. Huh. Wish it was though. Look, it's Gouda! From Hollow La- That little shark killed me. Dang. I need to be stronger then. Alright, let's see. Let's go put away all the stuff that we have acquired in this uh, episode so far. And now it's night. 
Which, you know what that means, right? We are gonna go hunt for the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, Dirk, we're gonna hunt for the demon eyes. I just realized, hold on. The Stellar Array has some new... You defeated the Slime King, huh? Good job! May have been rather weak, but it's a sure, surefire step forward, nevertheless. Did anyone else see that ninja thing? Was it just me? Somehow, it was strong enough to unlock a part of the Stellar Array. Check it out later, okay? I did. Hmm, feel like you're ready for the next step of your journey yet? Well, either way, I'm gonna give you this, the Astrolabe. If you check the Stellar Nova menu, you'll see a new option has opened up. I'll be brief, but the Astrolabe will show you the will allow you to explore the galaxy with a few extra steps. If you're interested, use the Astrolabe to visit the observation of Hyperborea. That's all for now. I'll be waiting and- Oh, an area will be there too! Cool. Oh, I got the- Yes! I got the- I got the first Aegis. It's the freaking thing from Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> also, hey Riv, how's it going, man? So, the first thing is Pyra's sword from Xenoblade Chronicles. I don't have an enchanted boomerang, so won't be able to use it yet. But, um, we'll leave it in there for now. But yeah, Riv, how you doing, man? Hope you're doing great. I have explored for roughly four hours, and this is what I have managed to accomplish. Two boss relics. Uh, the Mur Murasama from Metal Gear Rising, which took me to explore all of Hell, basically. And I managed to meet at both ends of the world with a lot of checkpoints. And I made a boss arena, and I was able to get, like, weapons that are way ahead of my gear, uh, my gear requirements. So I am just breezing through early game right now. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's been happening on stream, dude. I hope you're doing great. Oh, pains like usual? Aw, oh, man. Well, I hope things go... get better for you. Because, you know... I, I hope things are looking out for you. Yeah. I suck at... I suck at that! Yeah, I, I suck at that. Yeah, I mean... What? It prints out a weapon. Oh. Wow. Weapon memory. Okay, so right now I'm looking for demon eyes. They're gonna be floating towards me, and their whole purpose is to literally just pester me. Okay, I have an idea. My chronic pain's got you, you should have distanced yourself. <laughs> Lamau! Okay, so I'm just trying to hunt for some demon eyes. I need two more lenses, and once I get the last two lenses, then that's a demon eye, but I, he didn't drop. Oh, wait. Did he drop anything? I hate you so much. All right. I just need two lenses. Can you just get me two lenses? D demon. Wait. Oh, that's a zombie. I managed to get the Murasama from uh, Metal Gear Rising. So, it's supposed to be an endgame weapon, but what uh, another mod developer did was rework it to essentially make it so it upgrades throughout the whole game. So, I basically have an endgame weapon on my hands, but it's, like, shit tier right now, basically. So, I'm basically, like, in order for me to upgrade it, I have to kill bosses. That's a really nice trade-off, you know? Really nice balancing. Luckily for me, though, I do have some weapons that are quite literally, like, better. Uh, better for gear than, you know, my... <laughs> the freaking weapon that I already have. So I'm just trying to traverse through floating island after floating island to just find a demon eye that could be up here. Maybe. No. Oh my god. There's no way. We are not- we are so not back, chat. We are so not back. It is- it is Jover, guys. We are so Jover. I can't find a single demon eye. I mean, it would be nice to get some harpy feathers, but- oh wait. You know, I would honestly expect them to spawn up here, but no, nah, hold on. Let me just run back here. Come on, demon eyes. Please! 
just spawn. I just want to kill the Eye of Cthulhu, man. I just want to kill your boss. Isn't it? Is it that hard to ask? Like... Is it really that hard to... Is that really that bad of a request for me to... Wanting to kill your boss? Like... It's not that bad, is it? I mean, you guys probably hate him too. I I just want to kill the... Oh my god, I just want to kill the... I've got through. Like, holy crap, can I just... Not a single lens? Are you kidding me? Brother... Just let me get two more drops! Or is there a way to get lenses that's not the Eye of Cthulhu? Hold on. Or er, not the demon eyes. Nope, just these guys. Huh. Sold by the operator. Do we have the operator? Tomaton, squirrel, mutant, lumberjack, deviant, oracle, architect, slime, guide, merchant, nurse, demolitions, eye dye trader, party girl, painter, angler, and zoologist. Crap. Why are these knights so peaceful? I just wanna just wanna kill things. You know, I just wanna wait. Oracle. What kind of stuff do you have? Red panda. A pet chihuahua? Hmm. <gasps> Prime cut. Weapon memory. 42 gold. You know, I'm not going to sell it. I'm, I'm just not going to sell it. Is it really about to be day and I just... And I couldn't get a single... Wow. Wow. I can't believe the game hates me that bad. The game actually hates me that badly. Oh, wait. See, I even got the Storm Lion Mandible before the freaking Demon Eye. And that's usually a rare drop. The game just hates me. No cap on God. Yeah, no, the game just hates me. <laughs> Holy. Oh my god, wait. Not a single lens, buddy. And it's about to be day. Yeah, so... I'm so glad I'm not ranged or uh, rogue this this run. This would have been such a pain. I can't even fight the Desert Scourge. Alright, let's see what kind of other bosses can we fight. Oh, let's just like... Let's stand here for a sec. So Desert Scourge, Giant Clam, Eye of Cthulhu. There's the Blood Moon, the Acid Rain, Crabulon is one. Okay. I mean, I can't fight Crabulon because I, I'm i not strong enough yet. Or I shouldn't be strong enough yet. However, there is one thing for certain, chat. I could probably fight the giant clam. You guys know why? Because I have a dream. That one day every VTuber will uh, control their own destiny. Right, okay, hear me out. I know where the underground ocean is. It is... <laughs> Senator Armstrong is your president? Damn. I wish he was my president too. Maybe we'd actually get stuff done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't want to talk about politics here. Let's not talk about politics. That was a funny jab, though. Not gonna lie. Alright, so! Uh... 
in order for us to find the next one of the next objectives one of them because I can't seem to find anything else do I even have any torches okay cool Perfect. So all I need to do left is to find... Well, I'm just killing... I'm just decimating everything in, on site in this... Uh, in this desert cave. For sure this time, Nidreon will be triggered to the point that he's going to be fighting me, right? Hopefully. If you guys don't know, Nidreon is that giant shrimp that you guys probably saw me earlier in the uh, earlier in the episode. There was like this giant shrimp that was shooting water stuff at me. Like he was shooting water, jets of water at me. He's the type. He's you'll see him. He's like a really, really massive shrimp. It's a really funny gremlin. I'm so glad I have this weapon. God, this weapon just makes it so much easier to go through early game. And I got it because of a rare drop. I got I actually got lucky. So I'm not even breaking a sweat. So right below this desert cave is the Uh, that's not what's supposed to be down here. I think I need to go deeper into this desert cave. Ah, there it is! Welcome to the underwater area. Really beautiful place, isn't it? I don't have any gills potions, and I just used my last checkpoint, so, uh, crap. Welcome to the underground uh, desert ocean or whatever. This is where I'm going to fight the giant clam. But this is also another area where I'll be able to get some really cool new uh, cool new weapons. So this isn't that bad of a location to be honest. Because I do get some pretty essential gear here. I just wish I had my freaking uh thing of a bob here. Actually, wait. Nah, it's too far. I'm just gonna come back here rarely. I'm just gonna rarely come down here, and I'm only gonna come down here for like. Wow, that's a giant. That's a big clam, but that's not the giant clam. He's mad. He's like, ah, you're killing me. Ah, no. Ah, wee, 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 wee. Bitch, cry. Cry your bitch tears. Yeah. Die. Yeah. We murdered it. We murdered a baby. I, I'm such a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So we are... Actually, uh, there is something that I'm hunting down in this uh, area. Chat. And that is the underground bio lab. Or, uh, the water aquatic lab. So, remember the remember that lab in hell? Yeah, so there's another lab down here, actually. It's just somewhere lurking in these... These areas. Because this is actually a calamity biome, so... I'll be able to pretty much find a lab here, I hope. It should have generated. All the other labs generated, so I should be able to find the underwater bio lab, the marine lab. That wouldn't be too far of a stretch. Forgot to bring a gills potion, though. Kind of dumb of me. Should be around here somewhere, chat. I just have to keep looking. Hmm. Terraria is really, like, it's funny because, like, the thing about Terraria is that, like, it's really, like, at the same time that it's relaxing, it's also very, uh, stressful. At some points. But, like, there's gonna be, like, parts where, like, you know, it's really calm and stuff and, like, you're not really, nothing bad's happening yet. So you're, like, you're just relaxing, you know? Having a good time. kind of just get to enjoy the uh, little scenery. Yeah. Where is this underwater? Where is this biolab? Is it up? Because, like, it has good air pockets, so I could definitely, like, survive in there, but, like, I just want to get to the biolab just so I could... that's kind of the thing I'm looking for here, aside from the giant clam. The giant clam can come later. Because the thing is, I can't really summon any other boss. Where is this giant lab? Like, I, I've been, like, mining here for, like, the past, like, ten minutes. How big is this thing? Wait, what? Yeah, wait, how big is this place, anyways? There you go. Just mind that whole donut. What is that thing? Oh, look, it's another clam. Ooh, rabies shot. Why did I say that? <laughs> Ooh, rabies shot! So I could cure myself of rabies! Nice! <laughs> wow! Alright, let's see. Come on. The bio lab has to be around here somewhere. Just need to look for it. Who knows, I might find a certain bot. Really cool bot. Really funny bot. He's really funny. Is this it? I think I see it. Oh, it's another dungeon. Where is this thing? It has to be around here somewhere. There is absolutely no way that I spent all this time and won't be able to find the bio lab. You gotta be joking. What? There is no way. You know, I should have brought myself the uh, the biolab locator thing. Maybe I would have actually. Wait, hold on. What's that? Wait, I think I see it. Wait, hold on. There's like that strip of light. 
Oh, it's just another dungeon. Alright, let's head back to the surface. Okay, so it's about to be night. And we haven't found Nidrion, so I won't get my loadout yet. The freaking Amethyst Spark. That's what I'm hoping. So that item in particular is really good because it's essentially an item that whenever I get hit, there's going to be like these bolts of lightning that will like spawn on me. And those are really important because uh, as a melee DPS, I can just leave behind pieces of, uh, you know, DPS. Welcome to Crimson. Welcome to Crimson. May I take your order? So this is where they are. Huh. So the Brain of Cthulhu. It's another boss we have to fight after the Eye of Cthulhu. And it turns out that I just found where they are. All right, how do I get the Gauss Dagger? Area Light? Really? Ah, oh, damn. Okay. So, basically, none of these are good right now. So, uh, let me just dump all of these items into the crates. Or into the magic storage. Because none of these are essential to me right now. This is pretty cool, but, like, not as good as my other weapons right now. Scarab bomb. Eh. Eh. Oh, wait! Pyramid key! Oh my goodness! Also, this is gonna be the place where I'm gonna, I'm gonna be grinding mobs. I should have bought a pylon. How did I even get these? You know, I'm not even gonna ask. All right, let's see. All right, before, you know, before it turns night again, let's go ahead and... Eh, not bad, but like, not good either. Now that's good. Danger sense potion, hmm. So in short, none of these chests are good, unfortunately. Either that or just have terrible luck. Ancient cloth? What's this? I've never seen this before. Shark NATO staff. Oh, okay, these are just for cosmetics. Okay, cool. Aside from like end game like items. Magic conch. Shell phone? That's funny. All hail the magic card! <laughs> okay, it's night. You better. There better be eyes of. There better be demonizer on here. Or so help me! I have all of the storm lion mandibles in the world. I just need vultures. I just need vulture feathers, and then I should be good. But even then, I couldn't find a single desert feather. So honestly, I might as well just fight the Eye of Cthulhu before fighting Mr. Fancy Pants. But I can't even find like two more demon eyes that would give me lenses. Like, I don't get it. Like, how come they don't give me le Wow. How come they don't give me lenses, huh? Why is it so hard to give me your lenses? Give me your lenses. Come on, demonize. I won't ask you again. 
give me thy lenses. Ah, yes, good, sir. Would you please be interested in giving me thy lenses? For my production of killing your ancestor. Please. I, I require your assistance, your financial assistance, by giving me two of your lenses. I'm so... <laughs> I can't. How come I can't find a single lens? Like, why is it so hard to ask for such a simple thing? Okay, we're just gonna... You know what? Maybe my more... Maybe my uh, blade is killing everything too quickly because it's homing in on things, so... uh Get down to business. Two lenses. Is it really hard to ask for two lenses? Like, what did I ever do to you, Terraria? Like, what did I do to you to deserve this? Oh, Demon Eye! Did I actually get it? Wait. Finally, we're getting more eyes. That's one. Okay, just one more. Come on, please. Just one more eye of Cthulhu piece. It's gonna be the most anticlimactic fight because I've I've gotten so over leveled over the Eye of Cthulhu at this point that honestly, if I were to fight it right now, I'm going to win. And if I lose, it's gonna be funny. But like, for for the sake of the stream, I'm gonna just win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna win. Oh yeah, Lois. Oh! Yes! Okay, we're going down. Vicious looking eye. Craft this. Alright, chat. We're about to fight it, finally. Sorry it took so long. It took me hours, but you know. Let's see. Let's fight the Eye of Cthulhu. But first, let me just uh do that. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Wow, he's actually losing. Oh, right. He has a... Dead! Wow, that was so easy. Alright, that was easy. And that's our second boss of the stream. The third boss of the stream. Boom. Give me all these. Let me just take that. And actually, you know what? What will I trade this off for? Hmm. Uh, let me see. So, oh yeah, actually, I have an idea. Just trading out the enchantment. Okay, cool. I have Cthulhu. Defeated. Alright, so, uh, Stellar Array, what are you gonna give me now? Or what kind of, a uh, what kind of game-breaking thing are you gonna give me now? I have Cthulhu? Doesn't imply that there will be more of this Cthulhu? If it ever reared its head, it would be quite the formidable foe indeed. Let's prepare for that occasion just in case. Hey, defeating that foe was enough. Looks like an ability to Stellar, Stellar Array is ready. 
Okay, Silver Psych, I have, an I have an essence for you. It seems to create a magic type weapon with powerful piercing damage. It sounds rather helpful. Yes! Shattered Disc? I can't recall how I came across it, but it feels like I should know what it is. Shattered Disc? Okay, Asphodine. Uh, let's see. Star Shield and... Okay, cool. Nice. Shattered Disc? Oh, this is the, uh... The Dark Moon. Hey, Yuka Ice Thorn. How are you doing? Hope you're doing great. Uh, let's see. Just need Sapphire. Hope you're doing well. I am currently... I have currently defeated so many bosses right now in Terraria. Like you have no idea. And I have gained another sword in my arsenal. Ooh, wait. Oh, that's sick! Wait, what? Okay, wait, hold on. So, Shattered Disc. How do I use that? Oh, the Vagrant of Space and Time? I fight it this early? Okay, cool. Let's do it. Whoa! Oh, it's not a mini-boss anymore! What?! Oh, crap! It's kind of strong, actually. Hold on. His voice seems quite close to Accelerator. Really?! Nah, nah. You really want to fight, huh? Finally, a worthy challenge. How does that sound? <laughs> you're, you're easy. Wait, no, you're not. No, you're not. i to unload another attack. Hold on. Wait, the music is- the music's kind of a bop. Wait, hold on. Crap, my potion's not ready. Hold on. Oh, I killed it! Wait. Oh, I killed it! Yeah, I did! Nice! Huh! Wow, that actually worked! I killed it! Okay, cool! I got the relic! Let's go! Another master relic added to my collection! Okay, what do you got? Spatial prisms, stellar remnants, uh, what is this thing? Oh, this is just for cosmetics. Cool. All right, so... Vagrant of space and time has been defeated. I see. Please excuse my test. I know it's crude, but the only way I know to judge someone. In reality, I should have known. My sisters would never choose unwisely. Huh? Sister? No way. I apologize, Asphodine. This should help. Ring any bells? Dude, we've got to stop meeting like this. The nerve. Please, let me explain, Star Bear. In tandem with our galaxy's myriad worlds, there exist star fairies to aid their denizens. You are familiar with what we do. As we are conduits of energy, we chose a star bear to act as our envoy. You should know that living beings are the best conductors of mana, and we are only partially alive. However, the first star bear's nominee was unfitting for their role. This is the first star bearer. From what I know, they seem to have lost their minded morals. Now they continue to roam the galaxy, the Starfarer a thrall to their chosen one's whims. They pursue good through any means necessary, often with casualties. This is all conjecture, but the destruction is very real. It should go on said that we can't let this continue. I'll need your help in the future. As it stands now, you have little chance of the besting them. However, while Asphodine doesn't know it, all Starfarers have an ace up their sleeve, the Stellar Nova. I've already bequeathed the power to her the second you've won our duel. That is all for now. 
I must continue to track the first star bear. Good luck. I will have need of you soon. I know he's a loner, but we should have spoken more. Stay safe, Perseus. I can't help if he feel like he's hiding something from me, though. Just me? Anyways, he was right. I do feel stronger, and my hair's got all shiny. Yeah, shiny hair, let's go. This power should be an amazing boon going forward. Looks like my star nova's called Protokia. Aster. Perhaps we'll get to use some more once we defeat more powerful foes. After binding the Stellar Nova key, you should be able to equip the Stellar Nova through the Spatial Disk like usual. You should have some prismatic cores already. With their power, I theorize you can upgrade Stellar Novas with crafting. This is important. You need Stellar Nova energy to cast Novas. You gain Nova energy in combat, and it depletes outside of combat. Okay, a lot has happened, but this is a huge step for us. Please use this uh, Nova as well. Bye for now. Essence of the Watch? Oh. It's a yo-yo essence. Okay, so we have defeated... Okay, cool. Protokia Aster. Limitless Starry Blade? Wow, so much has changed in this mod, holy crap. Conjure Colossal Blade to cleave foes in twain. After casting, you will be able to recast Protokia after a short amount of time, no additional cost. Striking foes of Protokia Aster will inflict Void Altrophy, dealing physical damage, powerful damage over time. The second cast of Protokia Aster will double the potency of Void Atrophy, if applicable. This debuff lasts for 30 seconds. If the attack crits, refund a portion of consumed Stellar Nova energy. Each cast does 50% of Stellar Nova damage, and you may recast Protokia after a Aster again a total of 3 times, dealing 25%. This cast does not inflict vo uh, Void Atrophy, nor does it strengthen it. That's sick! That's cool! Spatial Prism? Wait, what does this do? Hold on. Affix to a Stellar Nova to gain the following ability, Cosmic Dynamo. Gain Magic Regeneration, Regeneration, and Heart Reach. That's sick, okay. Okay, so what other- so what other things can we do? Wait, I have to equip it first, right? So... Okay, nice. Chrono Clock. Summons a fragment of time to aid you in combat. Gra granting immunity to slow. The fragment of time will periodically nurture a time bubble around itself. So it's a clock. Okay, cool. Trick spin two step? It's a summon. What? It's a summon that's also a yo yo. That's kind of weird. Alright. Okay, so we have made it through. Oh, Enigmatic Dust. What does this do? Ooh! How do I get these? How do I get these Stellar Prisms? I think I just like... Okay, so... We have gotten a lot of stuff, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump all of this in here, like usual, and I know exactly what to do next. Shattered Disk... What? Why- wait, hold on. While dashing or running quickly, you will create a trail of demon sights? That's broken. Okay, we have made it to Crimtain tier. Nice! Okay, what what can we make with this right now? I need tissue samples. Crap. Alright guys, next boss is going to be a really tough one. So first things first, let's see the upgrade for the Murasama. Mur yeah, Murasama.
You know, let me fight the King Slime right now. This deals 25 true damage per hit now. This is good. This is great. This is huge. Let's fight a King Slime. I want to get money, so let's uh, let's try to get some money. Whoa! Oh, that's sick! Oh my god, I feel so cool, wait! That's so sick! You deny your weapon its purpose, Jack! Oh, oh my gosh! That is so cool! Okay, let's- oh wait, I just realized. We could get more prismatic cores through doing this, so let's summon him again. Oh, that's so cool. Holy crap. That's amazing. I like this weapon. We're just bullying the Slime King at this point. Oh, hey, look! Royal Delight! Okay, I'm gonna keep that because it is a Slime King pet. So sometimes you'll actually get, like, really rare drops like the, uh... Like the pet of the mob that you kill. Really cool. So I need three of these. Alright, let's see. Let's try to fight the king again. <laughs> That's so cool! The heck? I am the master of swords. Soma Saika. Oh, that's so cool. I just realized that I don't have a keybind yet for the uh, stars above Stellar Nova yet, so uh, let me just do that. Okay, cool. Let's test it out. Wait, I just... My bad. Oh my god, my NPCs. Oh my goodness, that ultimate is sick.
Okay, nice. Perfect. All right, Miss Zoologist. Here are a lot of items you might want. Boom, bam, ba, ba, da, ba, boop, pow, boom, 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 boom. And I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, we're going to keep that. Nice. Perfect. Okay, cool. And now we're going to put all of this in the piggy bank where it belongs because I don't want to lose any of my... Wait a minute. I want to lose all of my money. Look, I got a whole platinum's worth of money now. What I will also do, though, is I'm going to try to... Wait, I just realized the NPC... The alchemist is here. <gasps> yes! The alchemist NPC! Okay, chat. We're about to go sky high. Hold on. Woo! Oh my god! Okay, that... Never been here before. What is this? Let's ignore what just happened. Wait, I just realized, if this is up here, then wouldn't this mean the biolab- Oh no, the biolab in the upper- in the sp- Oh wait, no, this is in space. There it is. There's the big old biolab. It's getting kind of scared though, you know. That's not good. Oh my god! I just need- I mean like, I got what I needed so it's fine. Okay, let's see what we get from this. Oh. Okay, let's see. Let's go summon the Eye of Cthulhu. I swear I already got his summoning item, but like for some reason I just... Okay, we need money. Not really money, I just need the demonite. Alright, let's do this. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> I love that.
Come on. Oh, the retract. Oh my gosh. Let's do it again. Come on. I know you want more. Come on, Jack. Show me what you got. Look, I got the Muramasa. Oh, wait. Oh. Go, 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 go. I'm freaking whiffed. What? I'm <laughs> dead. Okay, another one. Let's go. <laughs> Just trying to get money right now. I have so many buffs right now. Not by by so many, I mean like a couple. Come on, I have Cthulhu. I thought you were tougher than that. <laughs> Even eternity mode, you're still a bum. You're still a bum. Oh crap. I was kidding, I was kidding, I was kidding, I was kidding. It was just a joke. No, I'm just kidding. I haven't even lost a single HP yet. Oh, that's such a cool thing, I swear! We can get so much money off of this. Let's do three of them at once! I'll have to use my Oath Sword. <laughs> Kill me if you dare! I have too much defense, you pieces of crap! That's one! Where's the second one? That's the second one! And the crowd goes wild. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Holy crap. What are you doing here? I got the master bait. Nice, we got the I've Cthulhu pet. Ginger beard. The next challenge is gonna be. Is it really that time to fight it? Damn. Can't believe it. Can't believe it's actually that time of the that time of the stream. Mini Minotaur. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, submit all of this to the uh, 
to the NPCs and get a lot of money. You know what? Let's get that. Hasty. Nah. Guarding. There you go. Actually, no. Yeah. Let's get that. Ooh, okay. That's another weapon memory. Holy crap. We have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Holy crap. This has got 114 demonite. I could literally craft absolutely nothing. I just realized I need tissue samples. So our next opponent before we end off stream is going to be Brain of Cthulhu. And uh, that one is going to be a tough cookie, probably. I'm not sure. I think I over leveled pretty much all the way up to pre hard mode. Uh, all the way through pre-hard mode. So I might actually be able to breeze through it. Just fine. But just to make sure. Hold on. Hey. Cool. 40 fallen stars. My goodness. Okay, so, for Brain of Cthulhu, this is going to be a tough one, because... No, actually, I just realized I need to get dynamite for this. So, the thing about the Brain of Cthulhu is that it's a different type of summon. In order for me to even summon it, I have to... <laughs> this is going to be awkward. I actually have to... um break certain items, or break certain, uh, things. In the, uh, freaking what was it? I have to break a lot of, uh, these orbs and piss off the, uh, piss off the, uh, brain. But, my pickaxe can't break the, the rocks here. So, the way for me to actually be able to kill it, or actually be able to get to it, is blow stuff up. And luckily, all three of these guys are next to each other. So, I can actually just do that right now, actually. Yeah. Wow, all of them are next to each other. My goodness. You know, before we actually, before we do this, I have a bad feeling about this actually, because I don't have any platforms. I don't have platforms and that's not good. I'm gonna go make some, I'm gonna make like a mini arena right now. Goblin army is approaching from the east? Ah, oh, crap.
All right. We should be close. I just need to... I could use this as a makeshift arena from now on, to be honest. The brain is a different type of built different, chat. I, I do not- tr I, I will tread lightly regarding the brain, but to be honest, since I'm melee, I should be fine. Rogue was my previous class, and I had a really hard time against most of the enemies because I didn't have the early access, like, melee weapon, like, you know, the Oath Sword. But now, I'm not so sure because I do have the Oath Sword. And also the uh, the one that shoots demon sights, and I also have the Mur Murasama. So I'm actually not sure whether or not I'm gonna be able to kill this thing in one in one try. Let's try it. All right, let's go. Luckily, I know its weakness. Its weakness is AoE. Wow, I'm actually... What a pushover. I got stuck. Holy crap. Wait, you know what? I'll just use this. Wow, I killed it in one try. Holy crap. Okay, I mean, you know what? I'll take it. I'll, I'll take those dubs. The damage scaling is going to be... Is going to absolutely mess with me once I... Brain damage. Yeah, no. You got that right. So this is an invasion. So this happens once every once in a while through after certain conditions. There's another type of event in Terraria. It's really cool. So basically, it's like an NPC raid from Minecraft, but better. It's like on crack, basically. So... Essentially, you're going to be forced to fight against a bunch of these uh, armies. Sometimes it's a pirate army. Other times it's a uh, goblin army. But either way, you got to defend your town or else your NPCs are going to die. It's really sick. It's really cool. It really shows a sense of urgency whenever you're fighting. Ooh, that's a rare drop. Wait, actually, I'll, I'll get that later. God, I remember when I played Rogue on this, it wasn't the most fun experience, to be honest. I've had- I have so much fun playing freaking Warrior. I'm actually glad. Why do I have the Gravitation Potion effect?
Test 5? What is test 5? Okay, cool. They're all defeated. Nice. I was about to say, Mr. Architect is alive and uh, he freaking died to a sorcerer. Hey, arms dealer. How's it going, man? Okay, let's see. What do you got? Uh, let's put you over here. Let's get a bunch of the stuff and sell them off. I'm a freaking samurai. Uh, we're gonna keep that. Ooh, wait, hold on. This is good stuff. Panic necklace? Oh my goodness. Wow, that's some good drops. Did we, did we get tissue samples? Okay, we did. So now, this is the best part, right? So... Now that we have defeated the Reign of Cthulhu... Uh, I have to go through my- I have to go to the wiki now for the, uh, class setups. So now that we have defeated the, uh, Brain of Cthulhu, we're gonna be, a uh, pre-perforators. And this is where the damage starts catching up to me. Yeah. So, yeah. No. I'm looking at the tiers right now. Oh, wait. I still use the same weapons. Okay, cool. How do I get the... How do I get the biome blade? Hold on. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this is this is where this is where it gets funny. This is where it gets fun. So this is the time where I start using. Okay, so this is the point of the game where I'm gonna get the hell, uh, hellstone. Uh, hellstone is mined by the Deathbringer pickaxe. Which I just got. And I won't actually need these. I won't need these armors. I actually go down. I'm actually going to go down to the underworld. And use a... Wait, hold on a second. Let me actually... Ooh, I could craft the Crimson Altar. No, that's a bad idea. I think that would spread evil. I'm not sure. I forgot. I forgot if it spread evil, but like, I'm just gonna not risk it. Okay, so underground, there's gonna be a new ore that spawns. And that's aerial. Wait, no. No, it doesn't spawn yet. I have to kill the perforator hive. Okay. So, in order to be able to spawn Aerialite, another ore that is really necessary to my uh, progression. Aerialite is a really good ore. Basically, it's the source of flight. So I'll be able to fly super early compared to vanilla Terraria by getting Aerialite. So, for pre-perforators, I have to get Molten Armor, which is acquired through the Underground. So, the Underground... Uh, the thing I need to get is Obsidian Skin Potion plus the... this. Yeah, actually, let's... Take that. I don't need the shield anymore. The shield is baby stuff. Okay. Let's do this. Alright, let's head to Hell! Alright, so, the thing we need here is Hellstone. Hellstone is completely necessary because we need it for essentially creating most of... Creating our armor, actually. Yeah, that's like the main thing. 
luckily we got the Hellforge ahead of time thanks to my expedition from uh, from earlier in the stream to get the Muras uh, Murasama. So now all I need to do is actually just mine a lot of the Hellstone. That's basically it. And then I just, in order for me to actually make the bars, I need to get obsidian. But luckily, one of the biomes that's above the underworld, for some reason, gives you obsidian. Usually, it'd be a pain in the neck to get all the, uh, to mine that stuff out. But fortunately for us, I don't actually need to do that. Because there's a biome dedicated to it. Hi, Luna. How's it going? I'm streaming longer than usual because I'm playing Terraria. How's it going? How are you? Do you play Terraria? Terraria is really fun. I have made it to now where the damage has caught up to me. I haven't played it before. Really? I'm playing modded Terraria, but it's really fun still, so I highly recommend it. It's really fun. If you want something like more RPG oriented than Minecraft, um, yeah, no, this is definitely the game. Crap, did I just mine a whole biome? Okay, good, I didn't mine the whole biome, but that's kind of bad. I mean, that's good that I managed to get this much, right? But, like, you know, I don't want to, like, ruin the little scenery. But I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty good, I'm pretty good. Again, I'm streaming longer than usual. It's kind of funny, actually. Minecraft is, like, scary enough for me. Oh, this game has bosses and stuff? Like, oh, man. Alright, hold on a second. Let me cook. Okay, so, I have finally crafted my molten armor. Plus the pickaxe. Where is it? Okay, first, the volcano. Another sword, right? And a molten pickaxe. Holy crap. We have done it. We have made it to hell. We made it to the hell arc, guys. Up next, we have to kill the perforator hive. This game is could be scary, actually, to be honest. Scarier than Minecraft, probably. Yeah. It's still a fun game, though. Highly recommend it. Okay. Now we, all we need to do is just kill this cyst. I don't know if I'll survive this one, actually. And I say this to a lot of bosses, but like... I might get, I might actually have bitten off more than I could chew here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. There it is. There it is. I didn't build an arena. Yeah, I didn't build an arena. I'm so dumb. I'm so stupid. I should have built an arena beforehand. Okay, hold on. What is this? Oh, wait, I can just summon it now? Wow, okay, I mean, that's great. Cool. Alright, so, let's make an arena. So, in order to make an arena, I need a couple things. So, Insta. Insta bridge. Inst mini insta bridge. I need a dynamite, which I... Do I have dynamite? I do have dynamite. Dynamite. A hundred platforms and a fallen star. Okay, cool. Fallen. St do I have a star? Okay, no, I do have my stars. Platforms. No, I don't have it. I need to craft them. Hold on, give me a sec. So, Luna. Basically, Terraria is more like an RPG Minecraft. It's really cool, and I... There's a lot of builds involved. I guess that's like the best way to describe it. There's builds, there's a bunch of like really cool RPG stuff, and the mods are still getting updated even today, even though Terraria's last update was supposed to be like... a couple years ago. But people are still updating the game like a lot. It's actually really sick. I accidentally made a different bridge. Um, there you go. Alright, so, Perforator Hive. Let's do it. Is 
It's so close to me. Oh wait, I can knock it away from me. Oh my god, wait. He, he's so close. Wait, what? He's actually so close to me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a better battle plan. So Murasama could knock him back using the uh using that, but like I don't know, hold on. Well, the operator sells stuff. Okay, so Terraria also has really cool looking NPCs, by the way. That's what I love about this. Um There's a lot of cool stuff here. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, so basically Terraria has like NPCs that sell stuff, like Minecraft, but like it it's like it's different. They're based on your progression, which is really cool. And I just realized the NPC that I need isn't here because she freaking died. Crap. Okay. I'm gonna have to work with the potions that I- Oh wait, no, she's right there! I'm so dumb. She's right here. Hi! Okay, give me... Rage? Now I'm gonna need buffs now because I'm freaking dying! Oh my god, Rambutan? Okay. Generation potion... Uh... What else do I need? Titan Potion. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so. Battle plan. Okay. First up. Wrath Potion. This. 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 And... That's it. I move way faster. Good. I have a flaming sword of a uh, pure badassery. Good. Okay, let's do this. Oh my god. This is our first challenging fight. God. It's gonna charge at me! Okay! I might die here, actually. Oh, that was so clutch. Hold on. Oh my god. Come on! I freaking killed it. Let's go. I'm such a badass. Holy. All right. So now that we have managed to get... Now that we managed to kill the uh, perforator hive, there's going to be a new ore that will be spawning in basically right now. And that is called the... What I like to call area light. So, Area Light is another good ore. Essentially, what it does is... Ew. Ew. What? Ew, that's it? Really? 
That's so underwhelming. Holy crap. Sell, sell. Ooh, it's a plushie! Nice, I'm gonna put you here to scare off the painter. <laughs> okay, so... Blood sample, I'm gonna need this. Actually, no, I don't need this. Because I already got what I need. Precise bloody worm tooth. Let's put you over here. Actually, no, I do need those. Uh, let's trade off you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, cool. Nice. Now with that out of the way... Let's review what we got. So first things first, every single time I kill a boss in Terraria, I get a new aspect. This there really was more Cthulhu. Somehow it doesn't surprise me as much as I would have thought. Those materials are something. Wow, the smell. Essence of the soldier. Oh. Okay, so. Let's see what we got. Gain 6 defense? Okay, cool. Unlimited blade works? Excuse me? This is the best mod ever. This is actually the best mod ever, what the heck? Oh, summons a portal to a world of blades, creating a field of empowerment for 20 seconds. A after activation, rain down a barrage of blades, reducing enemy damage. Additionally, all allies within the radius will be will be gaining blade forged, which increases damage. Oh my god! Wait, wait. I have, I have a new I have a new piece of dialogue. Hold on. <gasps> wait, hold on. I just essence of the anomaly. Neo Dealmaker. I don't know this one, but the essence of the Outer Gods is Ninomai Inanis's uh, weapon from Hollow Live. That's a Hollow Live reference. But what is this? Oh, this is literally just Soldier from Team Fortress 2. Nice. Cool. We're gonna keep these. Okay, so now that we have killed the Perforator Hive, we could finally go down to the Underground and we will find ourselves a new ore. And since we have the elevator, we don't actually need to look hard enough because it's it's always everywhere. And I have the Spelunker Potion, which will basically let me find the ore that I'll need. And luckily, I know what it looks like. I just need to actually find it. All of this is just iron. Unless I'm missing something. Hold on. Area light. Oh, they updated it. Okay, so we will be... Okay, so we are going to be ending off this episode, guys, because we have finally reached a lot of... A lot of stuff. Wow, we, we managed to achieve a lot of stuff in this run. Uh, the Murasama especially. I freaking love this thing. Like, look at that. How much damage does it do now? Oh my goodness. Wait, hold on. Uh, Murasama. Uh, Calamity. Overhauled. Hold on, how do I- how do I get through the tests? Okay, yeah. So, uh, let's see. How... Do you remember those foolish slime? Oh, I'm in my fifth trial! Wait. I can feel a special aggregation has appeared among them. 
take it out to prevent future troubles. Oh, I have to kill Slime God. Oh, no. Okay. That's going to be a nice second episode. But uh, anyways, so we will go ahead and end off stream. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Um, I can fly with this blade. Holy crap. But uh, yeah, so uh, in any case, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for some PUBG. And uh, I'm going to be continuing the Terraria run next week. And uh, hopefully it's going to be a lot better. And we'll probably get our wings next episode as well because it's going to be really fun. But uh, anyways, thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you all in the next one. So we're signing out. Appreciate all of you. And I'll see you all later. Goodbye.